Alright, hello everyone, it's Jabroni Tony and Woo TBM again. Uh, I'm back promoting my game again because I figured, why not? Oh, it's been enough time. Scandalous. <laughs> and you know, I kind of created the channel just to grow a following anyway, so it's like, ah, oh, whatever, I'll do it, I'll just do it again. Uh, you cheater, you cheater. Yeah. How dare you? This whole thing. Marketing tactics. This whole thing is a scam to get people to care about my game. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, working. <laughs> uh, but this time, uh, Jabroni Tony will be the one playing the game again instead of me, because, I mean, that makes more sense. Obviously, yes. I'm the guy who developed this game, so uh, I kind of know everything there is and doesn't really feel like a person playing the game if I play it. It just feels like a dev showing off. Here's why, <laughs> Here's why like, I'm a genius. <laughs> yeah. So... Uh, yes, me and uh, Woot talk about, you know, you may, you have your intention on why things work, but, you know, the user is the one who really decides whether that hit or not, regardless of how, how, how much you think that it should have hit, you know, it's still on the user, it's still on, uh, up to them to determine, and of course there'll be multiple opinions, but that's just something to think about, so. Yeah. All right. Jump right in, I think. Get right. All right. New game. All right. This, right? Cheater? Yes. I just, Debug room? I shoved this in here just to uh, let anyone who playtests the game to skip the intro, because Tony's already played the intro, so... Let's go he back doesn't, to... doesn't need to see that again. I'd like to showcase what's new. Dude, look at how many numbers I get. Yeah. Or uh, letters. That's a good, what's a good name? Uh... God Steiner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, always I, Scott Steiner. <laughs> yeah, how's the numbers don't lie? Numbers don't lie. Let's see. Limousine, ride in, jet fly. It's too many letters. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it's too. Yeah, Scott Steiner. The funny part is for our audience, I'm not even that big of a wrestling fan. <laughs> 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 but, oh, this. You guys have been watching Future Wrong with Finn Peters back. I don't know if you guys have gotten that episode yet, but... No. You guys will? Alright. Alright. You have been placed to repeat... Oh, here we go. This short scene reminds you of Vincent History. This is how I rate games when I play. I go... I, go, I, go, I mumble to myself. <laughs> okay, you have... I guess I can read out loud. You've been given all items, bullets, and XP from point one x to keep you on track. Please take a moment to equip your weapons and spend attribute points the dogs outside can be fought again to get used to combat however the xp they offer will push you slightly beyond the intended amount the players should have okay remember to check your objective screen default key zero if you're lost oh, oh that's like a yeah no it's o oh is it o? <laughs> o for objectives yeah and okay loot. so loot is still here we you feel like being a uh, I'm yes. a pro gamer. I am. Maxer. So the question is, what is, oops, the red versus the green arrow? Well, would, would I remember what that is from? I mean, you can click on the red arrow, but I guess driving oh, in arrow, America, yeah. or red means stop, <laughs> green means go. Oh, but it's still an arrow. Yeah, that's true. Maybe it shouldn't animate, but... You know, this, yeah. this doesn't happen in the normal game. You'll see that's, what I was, that's what I was asking, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's so what I figured. That's what I was going to say. If, if this isn't part of the normal play, then it's no biggie. All right. Yeah, in, in the normal play, I have it as a yellow arrow to mean, like, maybe, and you can, which just means you can just go back if you feel like it. Gotcha. So, you know, click on it, and it'll just let you back with no Oh, we get a sequence. Gotcha. We get to see the animation. Wee! <laughs> was there no... Oh, here is a glass shatter. Okay. Scott, Scott, Scott is Steiner now is now level three. See, that means you got an attribute point. You leveled up, that means you got an attribute point. Remember, all attribute points earned are cumulative and you can spend them on any part of your body. For example, you can level up your AI assistant but spend the given points. You can level up your AI assistant but spend the given point on your chassis. Yes. Okay. Cumulative. Someday I'll update the UI so that, you know, this makes more sense that it's all. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Right? Yeah, you can level up your AI assistant. Should this be and maybe to make it more clear? And spend 
I'm kind of uh, confused. I mean, if I remember the leveling system. I don't think so. I don't think and would be correct. For example, you can level your AI assistant, but spend the given point on your chest. The ch AI assistant and chest are two different characters, right? Yes, that's why it's but. So you can, so you spend, so you can you get level. it from one place, but spend it on a different place. So what is... Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm confused because... Okay. I thought you meant you put it on your AI and then it gets... You also put on your chassis, but... You're saying your AI gets the experience point from whatever combat. Yeah. So like and then you, it, you can it's level up your brain, but spend it on your chest. That's kind of the, the idea. Okay. It's all one person. Level, okay, so your each part has different levels. Yes. But then you level up one part and you get a point to spend anywhere. Yes. Okay. Honest feedback, kind of confusing. Not saying the system is confusing, but the wording. I think the system is fine itself. I'm just wondering if you can word it more clearly. Um, but that's on you to decide. Yeah, but maybe. that's my honest feedback. I think it's uh, one of those things where it's once once people play with it, it'll hopefully make sense. Well, that's something also is because I'm coming into this on a, a de debug room build. Like maybe if I was already playing, it wouldn't feel. But maybe not. Oh, yeah, we'll see. Maybe other people will feel the same. All right, exploring, exploring. Wait, the dogs outside. Those were the fake dogs. Those were the not intended dogs. I mean, I mean, I mentioned that you can fight them just because. Yeah. Just because you don't have that familiarity anymore. Um, whoa. I just want to see if I can outrun it. I can. Yes. All right. That's possible. Chase you pretty so damn fast. fast now on uh, the harder difficulty. I oh, their leash is pretty short. Uh, yeah. It's because he's running into a wall. You can outsmart him like that. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, that's for like uh, safety purposes. Yeah. It has to like. I'll fight a dog. Run into a wall and reset immediately. Oh, yeah. I was gonna mention some okay. of the skills are different here. I'm gonna have melee strike, but I deal clash and momentum. Damage taken increases from blah blah blah. Sherman is subsequently exploited. Reroute power. This is the thing I used to always do. Scanning the people. Uh. I refill after every uh, yes. battle, right? Okay. And this is what? I get one per combat? Yeah. Oh yeah, it can only be used one per combat. Uh, Alright. 20 HP. I believe my sword slash can beat that. Uh, I mean, it tells you. Oh, right. <laughs> you didn't look at the uh, the updated UI here. Where it says basics. Oh. And you go into a menu. So now you can actually see what the default moves do. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, remember, I was going to say, like that's why it's a thingy. A uh, menu. Yeah. Barbs of light. What? Oh. For forge an array of hard lines of protection. Oh, protection. Okay. We craft grenade. Oh, that uses resources. No, thank you. <laughs> Being stingy. Yep. Whoop. Bark. Lucky Perry. I might have Basics. to investigate something. I feel like I've been getting a lot of Lucky Perrys lately. I'm like, what's going on with that? Because <laughs> you don't have any. Is it, it's, it's supposed to be really low chance. It's like twenty five percent chance, so it's not unlikely. But every time it happens, I'm like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at the wrong screen for some reason. No. Oh, did it turn over? Is it being weird? No, no, no. I I'm being oh, okay. stupid. Oh, you. I'm looking, you, I'm looking okay. at OBS instead of Discord for some reason. Gotcha. Calculate the movement of the target, mitigate potential attack. Eh, but it's fine. Fight him, Your optimize power. melee approach. Damage. Basics, predicts. <laughs> One twelve. Bark. <laughs> you value the benefit of twenty eight actions. Yeah, let's do that. Boop. Yeah. Combat. Oh no. 
Yep. But yeah, I guess the med Rock pack, I brought that up mostly because now you can tell how much damage your basic attack will do, so you don't have to guess. Yeah. Throw a will able to fabricate a small but it becomes inert when combat ends. So I can make it, but then save it. No, is that it, what it means? Inert means it's dead. I, it's dead when combat ends. Oh, so do I waste the resources? Yeah. Oh, so I better fucking use it if I make it. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if it's particularly useful to finish off one enemy who has twelve hit points. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just had to sit here and like I have no. I just use one of these. Whoop. Another parry, man. I'm awesome. Too skilled. There we go. Die. Death. Two combat data. And also, you know, I have descriptions for like every item in your inventory. If you're wondering what they do, where they come from, or uh, oh right, it's materials, I guess. Oh yeah, and you have guns. Nah. You have the guns from the police station, and you have attribute points. Equipment. Okay, that's already equipped. It cool. Oh, I have the guns. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, I guess I didn't. That's one of the main things. I changed the uh, tuning of the. Uh, what is those called? Beanbag gun. It uh, gets two shots instead of one. Oh, okay. <gasps> A person. A human. Human. A Terminator. <laughs> Trying to sneak around him. Yeah. A human. This one seems harmless, hopefully. Uh, do you want me to read the dialogue in a dramatic fashion? If you want, sure. <laughs> hey, yo, that's close enough, buddy. I mean you no harm. I mean you no harm here. <laughs> like Scott Steiner. Hey, so you one of them talking robots, huh? Oh my god. I am Scott Steiner. I am an autonomous synthesoid. Hey, I'm Jim with a G. Jim. I like it. Hey, so I don't know what that means, but you speak human pretty good. Any chance you speak robot? You need help fixing your friend there? I can interface with it and determine the problem. Beep, 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 boop, 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 boop. Alright, now you get to do the mini game. <sighs> Sudoku? Uh, what was it called? Okay. Oh, yeah. Probably need... Maybe you need to read this. I mean, I have the instructions yeah. on the screen, but... I have force-fed as many fade codes as I can. The relevant times are shown on the left. My list is returned to partial data. They generate clues based on the fade codes. The data is on the right. These fade codes paired with the results across from them will allow me to deduce the actual code. This is a logic puzzle. The clues are meant to help you piece together what the correct digit for each slot is. Or it is for each, whatever I used to get. Uh, for example, if two entries have one check mark, and they both feature the same number in the same position, you might deduce the number is correct for the code in that slot. If two entries have one check mark, they both feature the same number in the same position. Okay. What is this? No. And then is the yellow arrow exit? It would be, but I, it dis I disabled that for the tutorial. Okay. So. How interesting! I didn't know this uh, little thing would pop up when you did that. <laughs> I guess because you clicked on it instead of using the keyboard. Uh oh. <laughs> but you can type in these, so that's why I'm like, I always just type because it's fast. Oh, enough. I see. Okay. Number of correct digits in the correct position of the sequence. Number of correct digits in the wrong position of the sequence. Okay. Number of digits that are not in the sequence. Number of correct digits in the correct place. Okay. So I try to guess one number. No. No, it's three digit code. You gotta get all the positions. Okay. One 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 zero 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 two. 
I don't get this at all. Oh no. And I know you're not going to be happy about that, but I'm being honest. I legit have no idea what I'm supposed to do. I know I'm supposed to put in three numbers, but... So... Yeah, I'm trying to think of this purely from a perspective of like someone who's not going to have you talking with them. So, yeah, which I mean, is the point of this. I'm trying to see if you can figure it out. I mean, it is a puzzle. That's kind of the point of a puzzle is that you have to figure it out. Absolutely uh, true. But, and I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to put it together and I want to give this a little bit of time because I, I do think puzzles are fun to figure out. But as of right now, I don't even know what I'm trying to figure out is the problem. So I know I'm supposed to figure out a three digit code. Yes. But so, okay. I like that the information is present. That's super useful. Yeah, that's just always there. So, number of correct digits in the correct position of the sequence. So, here's the problem I have is I don't know. So, here, number of correct digits in the correct sequence. Okay, so, like, I don't know what this does this correlate to this three? Like, I have no idea. And then I'm going, okay, well, this has a check mark, and that's a three. Okay, but then this is not. So it's not. So is it this whole three bracket is one number? That's my second guess. So, like, this is related to the three. This is related to the zero. This is related to the five. But if that's not right, then... Let's see, so three, my no, guess is... I'm three. just going to let you talk it out. Okay, fair enough. I'm gonna uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get... Questions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fine. No, I, I, I will talk it out so that you get to see what a player's thought process will be when, they're, when they don't have you here. <laughs> yeah. And this will help you probably change, you know, whatever, make the changes you want to make, if you want to make it. But, okay, so... Yeah, I don't mind. It's just more so the, the time constraint, but... Um, whatever this demo's not that long right i don't it's not a think big deal. this this won't take you that long to figure out i think that's okay. the main thing it's not going to take we you can. an hour okay it's probably going to take you the wrong 10 minutes at the longest Ooh. but probably more like three minutes once it clicks yeah yeah i have no problem Maybe trying to figure out the puzzle i just don't know what i'm looking at that's the problem so i'm trying to i guess that that's the fun to try to figure it out well yeah. i don't know we'll see you just are not in the sequence. Okay, so X is numbers in the correct position of the sequence. Oh, okay, I think I get it now, actually. Okay. So one is in the correct position. Zero is okay, I think I get it. So like this. Zero is not in the right spot. One is in the right spot. I'm going to correct it just are in the correct position sequence. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Number of digits in the correct position sequence. Okay. Oh, okay. One. Okay, so... Oh, okay, number of digits in the... Number of digits in the wrong position. Okay, okay, so that's that, and then number of digits that are not. Okay, okay, I get it. So... That's three for sure. This one has two numbers that are not. Uh. Okay. Number of digits. Okay, so three is there. Because, yes, okay. Oh, oh, I get it. Okay, so... Oh, I, I, mean, I don't know if I actually get it, but I think I'm getting on getting to something. And then... Damn it. 
Seven. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Got See, it. So the main feedback I have for that puzzle is that once you understand what to do, it's like pretty easy. Like yes, it, the main hurdle is trying to solve that type of puzzle. And know what you're supposed to do. And I don't know. I, it's hard to say because I feel like I don't know. Maybe I'm throwing some people under the bus here, but I feel like some of the people in the RPG Maker forums are kind of dumb because uh, <laughs> they're like, "I'll never figure this out." I'm like, I don't think it's that hard. I've literally like made this puzzle as easy as I can because I give you two sure. digits for free, basically. So yeah. anyway, the feedback I'm taking for that, I th I'm thinking I'm gonna replace this puzzle as just like a Sudoku puzzle or something that's more familiar. You're thinking about swapping it back or swapping it to something you said? Yeah, to like something like Sudoku where it's just like make the yeah, numbers people. add up to a number, just something easy. Yeah, I'm trying to think. You know, we'll go over it later, but uh, I can, I think we'll be good is I'll, we'll have this screen up and then I'll just, we can do this off, off stream, but I'll just explain to you like what part was confusing to me because I, I actually liked the idea. Like once I got it, I was like, oh, that's a pretty cool puzzle, which is, you know, probably what you intended. But the uh, trying to figure out what I was trying to figure out, I guess you could argue it, but um. There was definitely a part of it that I think if the information was presented differently, but the puzzles is exactly the same. Yeah, I've been trying to figure I think out it'd how be less to confusing. the information. I'm not really sure what else I could do to change the presentation in a way that doesn't yeah. like... I had some suggestions, but the suggestions basically solved the puzzle for the players. So I was like, that's not <laughs> that's not a good suggestion, sorry. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for sure. I think... Yeah, the, the only suggestion I would make is, and, and I could explain it to you once. And, and again, it's like maybe maybe if I make it, if I explain it, I'll go, oh, this is, maybe this makes it too easy. But the only thing is, like, I wanted to figure out what I was trying to figure out. I didn't want to try to, I wanted to know what I was trying to solve, not trying to understand what the information yeah, was I, like trying to say, right? I definitely get that because it's not like... If I wanted to do that level of puzzle, you know, that should be for, like, a puzzle game. Or it's just, like... Because even then, like, I, I first saw this type of puzzle in a Reddit post, and, like, I didn't even have, like, nearly as good of an explanation of what was going on. And it was a way harder puzzle. And I really enjoyed it, but I guess, I don't know, I like those types of puzzles, and maybe those don't belong in an RPG. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's kind of It's hard problem. to say, yeah. Because it's, like... My concern is not that, like, I'm fine with it, right, figuring it out, but there is a probably some people will be like, they can't figure out what they're trying to figure out, and then they'll just start guessing. Yeah, um, and guessing 999 times yeah. is not good. And then they're going to want to quit the game, potentially, right? Yeah, that's the biggest problem, is that I think that I have, a, I have a big fear that since this is, like, you know, an important part of the game, so obviously I want them to finish the tutorial, um, because I don't want them to just ignore it, because then the character will just suck, because I am plan to yeah. use it for a certain aspect of the game. Um, uh, then, yeah, it'll just be a friction point. People just leave, and those are always bad. Exactly. Exactly, so... Ah, Terminator. Legally distinct hey. Terminator. Hey, yo, you did it! I took the liberty of adding myself as a friendly in its database. That's a pretty aggressive AI you have there. Hey, well, the world's a dangerous place, huh? Guy needs an insurance policy. Seems reasonable from what I've seen so far. Hey, tell you what, huh? You want to buy something? Discount. Sadly, I lack any funds. What? You clearly got some jangle jangle there, gelato. Gelato. You mean bullets? Bullets? Yeah, stupid. What, were you born yesterday? Let's just say yes. Hey, I never met a robot with a sense of humor. Well, not one that wasn't a bunch of pre-made jokes written by an asshole. Hey, tell you what, you looked out for me, so I'll look out for you. Thank you, Jim. 
Gym. I know it's gym, but... <laughs> this vendor will remain outside your base throughout the game. How convenient. Make sure to spend your bullets. Send your bullets. Anything gained past the masks is lost. Past the masks. And hey, don't worry. I only sell stuff that works. I know a lot of jerps are walking around with shit that breaks in a couple swings, but I'm Laji Gelato. Oh my god. I recommend we do not sell any weapons we find. It would be in our best interest to prevent their distribution. So what did... By the way, I wanted to ask, what did you think Laji means? Legit. Oh, cool. I mean, did it help that I pronounced it, or did you read it ahead and figure it out? You know... I did, I think I, I did read it, but I don't remember if I read it. Uh, cause that's something I've been trying to figure out. Cause I'm like, Legi, Legi. I like, well, the, yeah, but, I yeah. like the way it's What's pronounced, it? but I don't know that people will <laughs> pronounce it correctly and understand what's, what it is. Yeah. Um, you know, I will say L E H J E E. Uh, yeah, because, you know, legit spell with a G, so I'm like, well, I don't want to use a G because they might think it's leggy. And that that, that's weird. the problem. Yeah, the J <laughs> does help make it give it that give it that uh, pronunciation for sure. That's I think that's what helped, yeah, because it's... Because, if, yeah, if it was G, I would have went leggy. I think I would have... <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, so when I said legit, I was like, legit? Yeah. All right, so... so okay, so I was, I was listening... I was... Oh, shit. I don't mean to judge, Jim, but you don't have a lot of inventory. Hey, well, come on. There's this roadblock to the south. Some jerk's cutting off my trade route. And that's completely crippled your shop? Yo, how am I supposed to get to the capital? The capital? Jim, it sounds like our goals align. I need to talk to whoever's in charge there. Hey, Swiss, yo. You doink that roadblock and I'll show you my premium stock, gelato. I thought this was all you had. Eh, hey, well, you know, <laughs> oh I God. don't mean to chuff your guff, but, you know. Hey, yo, I don't know. why are you so Italian? <laughs> I don't know, actually, but okay, then. I recommend purchasing that repolarizing matrix. Alright, alright, I'll, I'll do what the game says. The game forces you to do, actually. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Oh, wait, it probably, oh, I, that was a glitch, oop. whoops. What happened? Oh, I didn't miss it. No, no, oh, it's, it's you fine. You saw it, so... That's something okay. for me to take note of. For so you, yeah. For it's supposed own. to be free. Somehow it was not free. Ten, ten dollar, dude. Yeah. Because I hate when games force you to buy something and uh. Yeah. Go farm it's not money. Free. Oh, you can talk. Maybe I should name you. Someone said I should be allowed. To, you should be allowed to name this guy. So I said, sure, why not? <laughs> Fabulous. How do you nice. like the new names? Name listed as fabulous. fabulous. <laughs> yeah, name it listed as fabulous. <laughs> Good. Like, <laughs> okay, so yeah. one issue I I slightly had. Well, it was also because I'm I was listening to you more so than reading it myself because funny funny words. What's well, something about going beyond the masks? What was that? The ammo. Something you said something. It's yeah. It was like something goes go does not go beyond a certain point. Uh, the maybe, guy was telling. Me. Maybe I should use the phrase capacity uh but i mean you can look at your inventory or just open the menu oh no oh no that's it that. yeah so you see the bullets on the bottom there yeah 57 oh out of 100. you can't what if you try to pick something up past 100 you lose it that's all it's saying did he say max max yeah max oh okay i was uh okay i was not looking at the words i was just listening to you and i think i misheard as masks Masks. Okay, so if you read it though, it should be fine. Honestly, I, I get what max means. I thought you said masks for some. Okay. Right. That should be fine. All right. Dead booties. Dead bodies. Uh, ooh. Oh yeah. Okay. This uh, I may I shouldn't know what that is, but I do because. <laughs> well, the objectives would tell you what to do anyway. Yeah, that's but fair. That, that's only confusing because you skipped the intro. Your base oh, okay. fabricator is now available. You can use this machine to create items vital to your mission. For your mission. Wow, I read it wrong. Many blueprints will need to be found out in the world. However, there are some I will generate from our travels. Oh, that might be a lie. I think you get... Oh, no, never mind. These include programs, which you can use the base fabricator to write using the combat data acquired from conflicts. Programs can provide substantial upgrades or change how skills work. 
it would be in your best interest to optimize your programs to fit your methodology. For now, try using the base fabricator to create a reconfiguration kit using that repolarizing matrix you bought. Is this it? Yeah. Let's see. Matt's repolarization matrix. All right. Yeah. Also. Oh. Also, I finished processing the documents from the police station. Please step into your personal chamber so that I can install new protocol. I will let you decide how to handle this. Would Ooh. you like a tutorial on how to use your new diplomacy Ooh. skills? Resolving combat with diplomacy is different from normal combat. The tutorial is highly recommended for any player who wants to use it. However, diplomacy is completely optional, and you can <laughs> skip, safely skip this tutorial if you do not intend to use it. This is like a, a killbot parody line. <laughs> it's like diplomacy optional. You got it down. Either way, you can always return to your personal chamber if you need this tutorial. Maybe later. Oh, yeah, go for it. it. If you want to check it out. Hey, what's the matter? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to this diplomacy tutorial. In automatic messiah, players can resolve conflicts with words rather than shooting and beating enemies down. This is entirely optional as it provides no reward for the player. It is purely for those who seek this narrative path. Let's get started. For the purpose of the tutorial, I all but the chassis have been disabled from combat. A familiar face is back as a simulation. Previously, diplomacy was not attempted, but perhaps now he can be reasoned with. So yeah, I can see this guy. He looks a little familiar, but that's been a while since I played. Obviously, we're playing the debug version. Yeah. First, you'll notice one of these icons on the enemy. These contain what you need to know to succeed with diplomacy. Simply mouse over the icon to get this information. At the top it shows the charisma requirement. You don't see the question mark on his head? I do. Oh, you <laughs> just... It's not a number though, I have to hover over it, okay. I mean, I have to hover to see the number, I should say. Yeah. But craves kindness, okay. At the top it shows the charisma requirement. This is one of your chassis attributes. You can check and upgrade your charisma with attribute points in the attribute menu. You need to have as much or more than this amount for your diplomacy skills to have any effect. Mm. Next is your character's inner monologue as he starts to read the situation. Being biomechanical, he has a synthetic brain capable of human intuition. That's why he's better at this than some computer. Now let's try some diplomacy. Use demand yield. That sounds kind, right? Demand yield. I tend to get enemies to stop fighting with a show of dominance, placing, playing to their fear. Capital F. I guess it's a status effect or something. Only works on sentient targets. User must have same or greater than target. So how do I see what my charisma count is? Do I just have to remember it from the menu or what? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's not something that fluctuates wildly, so you would know. You haven't spent any attribute points, so you have zero. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. I will I mean, say. I, I did think about a way to. So when you mouse over him, it says zero charisma. I think it's possible that I can make it so it just turns red if you don't have the right amount. Yes, because I'll tell you right now, I fucking won't remember my. It's just because I'm. That's how I play games. I'm chilling. I I may not remember. I'd be like, why can't I see my charisma? Yeah. I I feel I'd say that. So. Yeah, it's possible. But the other thing is that charisma only goes up to five, so it's not really hard to keep track of. Oh, okay. Never mind. Then. I thought, okay. Yeah, that's not that. Well, huh. But, okay. That's fair. Much smaller number than I thought. Yield. Oh. Yield or die. <laughs> yeah. Ouch. Remember, the enemies will still attack you like normal during these diplomatic events. Whoa. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm so used to reading. I read it at my speed. My bad, my bad. I know you're saying it out loud. So also, that didn't work at all. The green bar below their health is their disposition. The numbers you see from diplomacy skills are a percent of this total. Once they reach 0% disposition, they will withdraw on their turn. Let's see, okay. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, this. Just make sure I get it. The numbers you see from this one. Okay. Let's, Let's rethink which skill to use based on diplomacy. His diplomacy info. Demand deals and still instills fear in enemies. Stand ground will assert your position, but shows you are not aggressive. Placate will attempt to soothe them with gentleness. But craves kindness. 
Okay, so it's rare. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> that's it. And sometimes that's all it will take. No, naturally, this will get harder in later fights. Remember to read the context clues. Otherwise, it might seem impossible to win using diplomacy. Also, it is impossible in some situations, as diplomacy only works on enemies capable of conversation. Hello, dog. Conflict. Uh oh. Look at this glitch. This glitch. It's right? not a glitch, no. Oh, it's highlighting a nothing. Uh, yeah, why does it highlight in the first place? Yeah, it should just be an empty. Yeah. Hello? Ah! Now my animals are attacking me. Lol. Alright, let's go deal with that roadblock. I know, I already did this, but I'm looking at it. Okay. I mean, it's cool to look at. I definitely recommend looking at it. You know, I'll say what. I, mean, I guess you're a robot scenario, but I was going to say, you need a nice fucking bed in here. <laughs> that <laughs> looks comfy. Looks uh, homely. But. Because, uh. I don't know if you noticed, but you already had a bunch of programs already. I did. I didn't read any of them, but I did notice that I had them. So, Alright. Chop, 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 chop. They're pretty, I guess I should mention, uh, you already have a bunch of combat data, because I, you know, I gave you all the data. Oh, yeah, you can buy stuff first, too, yeah. Oops. Right click. All right. Is this mats? Unlocks crafting blueprint. Okay. Gun blade. Gun blade. I'm doing it. I don't give a shit. FF8 fan, you got me. All right. <laughs> Melee sync. Okay, so I should... So that's data, so then I have to go back to my base to make it. Yes. Okay. What the? Oh, oh, oh there's weird. the glitch. That was, oh, yeah. Yeah. That was me. To, I double tapped escape. Oh. Cha -cha -cha -cha. I wonder if you have. No, you should have. Oh, wait, actually, I don't remember. No. No. The okay, I thought you clicked on diplomacy tutorial. Like, no, not again. Cool. I'll see how programs. Oh, I should have figured this out on my end. Increases crit chances. Uh, grants one more use of deadly strike per combat. Lowers cooldown and warm up of solve by one turn each. Increases battery granted by recharge. Crit chance of shooting. Crit chance of melee. Replaces bars blades. of light with blades of light. Blades of light deal 50 more damage and is lethal. Increases max battery capacity. Pure power no longer constant turn to use, but gains a two turn cooldown. Places deadly, deadly strike with knockout oh. strike. Non lethal, no non -lethal. thank you. Only murder. <laughs> I'm buying this for fun, I don't even know. Yeah. Okay. I mean, combat yeah. data just comes from enemies. You just fight enemies if you want more combat data. So how do I okay. Oh I need I need mats. Okay, so uh, So that thing I bought though. Yeah, you equip it like an item. Oh, you also need to have a distribute attribute points you could spend. Uh, uh, trying to play with a mouse, I see. <laughs> yes. So used to it. Each point in parry grants evasion. Efficiency. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, I mean, this is all, this is all, I don't think any of this has changed if I remember correctly, but I just think it's good to read these things to, except did I reward, did I rename parry? That might be the only thing that changed. I said it's renamed. I don't think what it does has changed at all. But there's still good old critical hit and efficiency. <laughs> Max crit. Crit people's Max. balls off. Blast them. Alright. Um, yeah, let's do it. That's what all power. Yeah. And you had this issue last time where... I think you had this issue where you got confused between inventory and equip. Potentially, yes. It's like you could go to equip to equip items. So you see programs and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oops, oh, I hit that. clear. What did that do? Uh, did nothing, apparently. Interesting. <laughs> I'll try it. Let's see. You got the space up here. Uh, use it for one thing. It'll be used when you, yeah, see? Oh, uh, okay. You want to attach, but this isn't a gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just look at mods. Yeah, I wish the yeah. I'm using a mouse. Was... This is weird. Sorry, God. What's up? I wish using, I wish the equip the uh, attachment menu made more sense. But this is kind of just the plugin I have. And... So these all use bullets, though. Yes, guns use bullets. 
requires six. Do I still? Okay, so. But remember, you have a max of bullets, so. It's so good I to, use some. It's good to spend your bullets so you can pick up more. There you go, gunfighter. Now, did it say? Is there or earlier in the pat like the before part that tells you this is where your programs go? Are uh. You, not saying players can't find it, but you know what I mean. It's kind of yeah. Like, that is something that's a little bit. I think I said to equip them, but maybe I'll say equip them. Like, items or something like that. Uh, yeah, maybe. I'm not sure, but think about it. Yeah. But yeah, that is something that's oh, concerning. Something it's like, similar. you know, it's like a major feature of the game that I don't want people to ignore because it's like, exactly, you get, you, get, you get cool things from it. Like, it's not just. Yep. Like, exactly. That's my concern. Is like people are like, where do I do this thing? And they just like forget or they move yeah. on. Oh, okay. I'm retarded. So I'm trying to hit inventory and click on one, but it's only your chassis who gets. No, everyone gets to uh, equip stuff. It's but inventory doesn't oh. equip things. Oh, it's equip equip. Okay, so inventory. Oh, there's inventory. Okay. Also, uh, whatever. Like oh, the, the layout. Oh yeah, that's always that's even I've noted that from the previous one that I allow the names to be longer than they can fit. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, this is the default UI, and I just I'll probably be not until I don't know way later that I actually do something about changing the UI. Um, as but long you know, as you plan on and, it. until that point, I don't really feel like restraining people from having funny names because it's you know sure. it's not really an issue that's uh, it doesn't show up in dialogue. Because I—that's the part I do have to plan. Oh, okay. All right. So I talked to the man's. Oh, did you? Uh, did you put it? on that gunblade? I forget. I. The program? Yeah, I did. No, the gunblade. Gunblade. Oh, the actual program. weapon. Yeah, maybe I need to. There's so many. It's it's tough because you know you don't want to over tutorialize a game, but like. Uh, I don't have. See, I don't. Did I not? No, you That's do. A... You click down equip instead of attach. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah this is hard, yeah. Oh. Oh, so I, I equip the. Oh, wait, blade. no. That's right. You never made it. You bought the recipe, but you never That's made it. Right. That's right. That's right. I'm short. I'm blasted. <laughs> I'm set to run you in circles. <laughs> <laughs> Dev in your ear play. There, let's see. And eh, whatever. I'll fight you. Yeah. Fight. The second fight of the game, so it's super yep. easy. Diplomacy, just kidding. I know I can't. Uh, okay. Bork. I don't need this. Gun melee. Yeah. So, oh yeah, I can mouse over. That's right. So, lore-wise, is this like... Do you care if people know what this is? What is and what is this? Reducing damage. Like, is this its like radiation soul or something, or is it? You know what I mean. Like flavor-wise, I have no idea what this is. Oh, why it shows up? Because you scan them. No, it's... why is it like a green circle? Uh, is just, it just to look like an, a UI element? I guess. Okay, see, that's where I'm confused. I didn't know that was supposed to be a UI element. I thought that was like. It's radiation soul that that I pulled from its body, <laughs> so that's how I was confused. Now some of it, like, because earlier you had it where it actually showed the guy's gun as a selectable thing in the previous patch, uh, so there it's like right, or am I am I misremembering? It looked way worse in the previous patch. It looked way shittier. <laughs> okay, but am I thinking of the right game? Maybe I think of a different. Maybe I think of the other, the, your previous. No. Okay. Well, my point is that I thought it showed when I exposed weakness on, let's say, the guy's gun or something. I could highlight his gun, right? It didn't like make a new thing that came out of him. No, it, it made a new thing. Did that it? Came out of him, okay. Right? I totally misremembered. That's the uh, that's the janky workaround I have for doing stuff in RPG Maker without having. <laughs> Uh, better scripting and stuff. Die. Bang, oh. bang. Uh, wow, damage. So much damage. Two combat Not data. Dead. Yeah, someone gave Save me feedback complete. that they wish they had more reason to fight enemies. And I was like, you know what? Yeah. Because there's... 
something I had to figure out. Um, I was like, yeah, I do like that idea. I had to figure out what to do with certain crafting things. So I was like, why not have combat data? And then you spend it to craft things. Oh, oh you have, I, do you have yeah. that thing again? Is it because your stick is plugged in? Where I'm facing up? Yeah. It might be. My stick is plugged in. Because, yeah, that, that is not a thing anyone else has encountered. <laughs> okay, that's funny. You should make sure you have support for arcade sticks. <laughs> I mean, it, sh it should work, technically. What's going on? What's going on here? I don't talk like Scott Steiner. <laughs> ah! shush, shush, shush. Oh my god, he's body. <gasps> Please, I'm a friend of your people. That man seems crazed. I mean, my heart is telling me this, but my exploratory side of this game is telling me this. Hey, leave that man alone. Who the... What the fuck are you? I am Scott Steiner. I have <laughs> fucked this! I didn't click that. I, no, that you did weird. not. You did not. That's, it's a bug, okay. No, it's not a bug. It's deliberate. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's something I've done a couple times where anytime someone interrupts them, it actually just skips ahead. Because, I don't know, I think it it's more, makes more sense. Makes more sense. Like, to have a... I don't know. It's something I'm trying. Like One of my, my biggest gripes in shows is when a person's in the script they know they're gonna get interrupted so they stop talking before they get interrupted oh yeah <laughs> which happens all the time it's just you know it's like that's the best take you guys have you guys didn't retake yeah. it and say keep talking until this person starts talking they just they literally stop talking and then get interrupted yeah and it's always super that's clear nice. in video games too right where it's like yes and you'll have the the text on screen as the person reads a long ass sentence and you see it ends in like hyphen and dot 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 <laughs> oh sure sure fair enough and so then like as they're talking and then they there's like a pause and then someone interrupts them and you're like come on guys like get the yeah. timing <laughs> <It's> sharper <laughs> i mean i'm sure we the know. problem is localization probably or something but potentially yeah. but uh you know since mine's only text i could just be like bam i do put in a yeah. little a little wait so that you get time to see it but Otherwise, yeah, it just skips ahead automatically. Yeah, the only concern is people who are slower readers want to get time to read what, to see what got interrupted. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I try that's, to keep, so far, every time I've had it happen, there's only been like one or two short words before they get interrupted. So okay. hopefully uh, okay. they can read yeah. fast enough. I mean, I, I could always increase the wait time, but uh, anyway, You're I like am Scott Steiner. I am a synthesoid synth. I'm a Scott synth. I'm not natural. I'm a genetic freak. I'm a genetic freak. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, praise to you. After all these years, I woke up today and everything was different. I can feel even the air is a brisk 115 degrees today. A small blessing. That is 319 degrees Kelvin. That is Arizona. <laughs> I have nothing to do with the temperature, I assure you, mister. What do I call you? Smojo! <laughs> Hab Habamo, some people call me Hobo Mo, but that's not my name. Oh no. <laughs> Habamo is an Oop. interesting name. You like it? So, Habamo, where are you from? I meant to tell him Hobo Mo was an interesting name. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, here? You live in one of these metal husks? Oh, no, no, the crab men live here. Of course, the crab men. How can I forget? I see, Habamo. I'm trying to get you home, okay? Or trying to get you home, okay? Home okay. Why Why am I having trouble reading my own? <laughs> oh, no need. You have done enough for me already, Lord. <laughs> now it's now it is for me to return the favor to you. Lord, that's a bit much, Habamo. But you've come to save us. Save us all from this wretched hell. Well, yes. Uh, I'm, I'm nice. This is a good, good playthrough. A good playthrough, but you're murdering everyone. <laughs> yes, it's a uh, conflicted good playthrough. <laughs> Fair enough. But it wouldn't be right to give me such a title. I am an ambassador from another planet. I am not some supernatural authority. I am simply a helper. Oh, of course, of course. All right, then. Well, I don't need you to repay me, so off you go. Oh, thank you, but wait, you don't know the area. The crab men live here, and these shells, they're one big community. They may seem ornery and 
Uh, they can be, sure, but they're not bad. It's that damn Geosafar. He's taken over and got them all riled up with this roadblock racket he's running. I see. I will try to avoid unnecessary bloodshed ah, then. Ah, damn oh, what a liar! <laughs> I, I meant, yeah, I'm gonna kill them all. Whoops. <laughs> Anything you say, Lord. That sounds too scary for an old traveler like me. I'll go spread your word. Our Messiah has arrived. Do -do 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 -do. Prepare to die. Hmm. Sure. Damn, I can't seem to avoid making the wrong impression. New All investigation. Right. Or something. Let's see which is the path, the optional path. So that's a dead end, so this is where I want to go. Yeah, because dead ends are great. To, so I get all the loot. Crazy crab men. Look out. Let's see. Shoot revolver. Murder. Take this diplomacy. Break his legs. Oh shit. I'll take it. Oh god, I'm being bodied. Yeah, he put a debuff on you there. Which I guess I should remind you, since this was in yes. the intro, that you can mouse over those to see what they do to be like, oh god, but why? But well, you broke his legs, as you could see, <laughs> which is definitely nice. Locomote, locomote properly, yeah. and goes last. Did I, I think I remember looking it up and making sure that was a real word. <laughs> it might, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, well, because, yeah, emotion emote, yeah. Requires any chance to strike him. This one increases damage to melee attacks, reduces evasion to zero. Crazy crap, man. Oh. <laughs> hey, buddy. I now may have I... broken your legs. But... <laughs> I may... Sorry for breaking your legs. But respects those who are the position. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah, I made these descriptions pretty easy. Oh, whoops, they're. Oh, not whoops, but they're both assert, so. Oh, got, they both got hit. You got a happy birthday. Is that what it's called? Marvel 3? Yeah, Marvel, yeah. Happy <laughs> Got him. Conflict resolved. <laughs> broke so his legs. This, but he still... I broke his legs. But I told him, hey man, good job. <laughs> so this minor issue. Yeah, why can you but... mess over this? It's kind of unnecessary. Yeah, and then also, you know, over here. I know this is supposed to, you're supposed to know it's the bullet icon, but it's weird that these have words on the left and then a count and then this is like just an icon. Yeah, a little that's uh... inconsistent. That's actually something I fought with for a little bit when I installed that plugin, because that's new. That whole UI is new. Um, okay. I basically installed that plugin as a means of uh, speeding up the end end uh, fight resolution to like summarize shit faster and um, blah blah. Gotcha. Uh, but yeah, there are certain things about the plugin that I don't like that I'm just like, oh, what the fuck do I do about this? <laughs> and the ammo thing was something I was like, I definitely was like, what the hell? Like, why Why is it so inconsistent? That is strange. All right, let's see. They're fear. Oh. Goodbye. Well, Talked her out of it. Get my cup of water over one. Well, there's no water in it, so we're okay, but <laughs> just hit my cup over one sec. Alright. Grenade. Yes, the most the diplomatic plums. of weapons. Let's do it. <laughs> Conflicting. Ow. He threw a rock at you. <laughs> oh, he's got a ton of HP. Let's see how ton of HP. Grenade. Via diplomacy. Uh, killed one of you and the others. Or saved one of you, but the others have to die. Yep. 
Ow. Ow. Is Fabricator the healer? Yes. Okay. Optimize. I'm gonna kick him in the head or something. <laughs> Solve. Oh yeah, I guess in this situation it does work. This is actually a big problem. Is uh. <laughs> oh yeah, that sound is pretty funny. <sighs> this is kind of a big problem. I've been uh trying to figure out is the skills at the starting of the game because solve I think is a pretty useful skill, but it's really not useful for this demo. Oh, uh, so okay. Like, because it does 50%, and it's like everyone either takes 50% or 100% damage. So it's like... Brass Knuckles! Oh yeah! Doesn't have a slot. Beat the shit out of people. I'm glad you noticed that, because I was distracted. <laughs> <laughs> Had to check it out. Got it runs so fast. Uh, uh, mouse control. Yeah, mouse control might have some sort of bug with how fast it lets you move, but whatever. I'll let the speedrunners have that, you know? Sure. Yeah, that's fair. So long as they can't move fast that they can clip through collision, it's fine. Oh god, they're all different. You. Yeah. Oh, you delay pat. Oh, okay, so maybe I should... I don't know. I guess I'll point this out, but... You know, the turn order is at the top of the screen, and when you target, when you select some or mouse over somebody with a skill, it'll they'll pop out in the turn order. Oh, uh, okay. I mentioned oh, that because gosh, he already know. was going last and he made him go last. Oh, I see. I, yeah, I forgot about the turn order thing up there. All right. Soothed, fearful. Oh, man, they're all different. Yeah, I mean, that's how. It ends up being. Because right now it's simple and everyone's just dying in one hit to diplomacy, but that's yeah. kind of where the. Uh... <laughs> oh, I thought you made a grenade again. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> alright, I save one person and the rest die. It's like, I just <laughs> felt like killing just you guys. Oops. <laughs> alright. Here's fearful. Oh god, he's out of mana. Yep. But you have solutions for that. Yes. Oop. No, I'm serious. Oh. Yield, damn it. Yield, stop it. You son of a bitch. I don't want to kill you. Don't make me kill you. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you make me do this? <laughs> oh. I just yeah. plummet all over them. Even though you made them run away, you somehow still get loot. Yes. <laughs> Whoa, the mouse is like all awkward. Oh. Probably because it's, it's getting stuck on something, yeah. Like, yeah. I can't even... Some sort of collision thing happening. Yeah. Whoa, what the... That's a dead it's... end. Over there. Yeah. Wow, so fast. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, he's in a tower. Yeah. This was some funky stuff I tried to do. I guess I should just... I don't know. I'm, I'm tempted to spoil something just to see... Just so you can see it happen... Uh, to scan the... Oh, it's too late now. Oh. Scan the tower for a... Uh, a weak point. Oh, they can break it down. Okay. I think about... Yeah, if I wasn't playing, like, a Diplo game, I probably would have tried for that, but I guess we'll see. Uh, very fearful. Oh. Uh. Uh, I mean, I, I might as well spoil it. It won't kill him, so don't worry about that. Will it, will it knock him down? It won't, it won't defeat him fully. Maybe I'll put it that way. Crap. He predicted him, though. Oh, it's the femme Peter that does it. My bad. God damn it. I was waiting for Scott Steiner. I forgot he's not the one. Okay, whatever. I'm just going to delay. Oh, yeah, that's right. 
grayed it out, which is a nice feature. That, that was like one of the last things I did when I was working on this. Just to change it so that these people who are immune to melee can't even, you can't even select them for melee. Oh, uh, okay. Now my concern is people be like, well, why can't I? Yeah. I guess, I don't know if you can put an error message up or something. I mean, it makes an error sound. Yeah, yeah, but they might, but I'm, my concern is they don't know, they, they don't know they can't do it, but will they know, will they be like, was this bugged? You know what I mean? I guess you could be like, well, those people are just being dumb, but. Yeah, I mean, there's only so much I can. Yeah, you could say like, enemy cannot be reached or something. You know, that is, is that, oh, okay, there we he go. Does, he does have a effect on him that says elevated position that says he can't be, well, he doesn't have an oh, he does. him out of the tower. But before he did, yeah. Yeah. So it does, oh, it does tell you how it works, so. Oh, okay, that's fair then. He stayed when he fell off a tower. I guess he's laying <laughs> on the ground. Uh, that just that stable just means when it whenever the, whenever a stun or knockdown wears off, they gain stable, so you can't stun lock them. So. Oh, okay. He, okay. he lost his turn when he did that. Sure. Optimize <laughs> melee damage so you can yell at him. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know. <laughs> <laughs> I could kill you if I wanted. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I may have knocked you or broke your tower. <laughs> knocked you out of your tower just to yeah. yell at you. Get out just of here. Just so you know. <laughs> I will say, I do. I am enjoying that uh, I full refill after every fight. Yeah. Because then I can, you know, I don't feel a need to, like, I, I feel the. it's fun to just kind of use my best skills and. It's such a random encounter. Like you don't always want to just be like auto attack. I'm trying to, you know, you, oftentimes you auto attack because you don't want to deal with animations or you don't want to use up resources, you know. Yeah. But that's not necessarily good. You know, it's fun that I can use my resources and like not give a shit. Yeah. And on the hardest difficulty, especially, you kind of have to use your best resources. If you're just yeah. auto attacking, you will die. <laughs> Fair. What's the matter with you? Hey. Yeah, I try to get as many different poses as I can because a lot of these assets are just doing this, like default standing pose, and that's yeah, uh, kind of boring. I give up. Reinforcements. Reinforcements. What she left, I joined the fight. That is kind of a funny thing that I thought of. It's like it's kind of weird that you can diplomacy people, and then like someone's like, "Don't worry, I'll take your spot." I'll, help. I'll yeah. join the fight. But it's like, you know, whatever. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. It's just, it's, the reinforcements is a game mechanic. Yeah. And it only happens on the hardest difficulty, so it's like... Well, that doesn't really matter. I'm just going to Diplo my all over them. Diplo all over them. Here, you go last. Yeah, go last, because he goes before... Or he goes pretty soon, anyway. I think he goes before the chassis. Yes. All right. Soothed, assert, fear. Damn it! I have them all different. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. oh, so yeah, placate the whole or not placate, uh, solve the whole thing about that is uh, you'll meet enemies oh. who take more than you know a couple of. Uh, yelling at them to get them to die. Sure. And so you can kind of skip ahead by using solve because it ignores all resistances. Ah! The oh, rock. God. Soothe assert. Soothe. Oh, you placated. Oh, right. No! Oh, no. Am I dead? Oh, I'm dead. You are dead. That's right. You took too much damage. How much does... Oh, this is I. I hate this. To to title, do that one. And then load game. Yeah, that. I don't know why. That's part of a plugin. I don't even want that part of the plugin. <laughs> I need to like. Yeah. At some point, I need to fix that. That needs to not even. Ideally, not even show up. But, I mean, maybe not ideally, but that could be a solution. Um. But yeah, the choices are, are weird and stupid. Like, why is there no load game option? Yeah. It makes no sense. Dude, fucking Command and Conquer, I'm Tiberian Sun, which I've been playing the same fucking issue. So just what are you me, doing? So just let me load, like, god damn it. And yeah, one of them is so cancel, stupid. which, it just makes the menu open again. Like, why would you cancel when you're dead? Like, that makes no sense. Where are you yeah. gonna go? 
You have to either load a game or go to the title or quit the game. Those are your options, not cancel. Like, I don't know, man. Some of these, some of these plug-in guys, I appreciate I, your hard work, but use your brain. <laughs> like, yeah, sometimes you... they don't even like actually test their thing and see if that it's if it like lacks some really basic <laughs> thing that makes sense. Grenade done with diplomacy. <laughs> yep. It's like look what you made me do. Actually, I'm I'm taking a lot of damage, so maybe I should have healed with the fabulator, the fabulous. But yeah, here we go. Ah, explosions. Uh -oh. Am I dead? No. Uh. Whoop. Ow! 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 Oh, he does go now. Okay. So. The reinforcements. Every one of these guys spawns a reinforcement is pretty much what I'm looking at. I think. Oh, he might already be dead. <laughs> oh, God. All right. So much damage. To exit. Yeah, hopefully this uh, difficulty spike makes sense because you see this big thing behind. Big yeah. Thing. So you're like, ooh, what's that? Let's see. No, we going back. Uh, I mean, if you're gonna use a fearful damage, you do have a gun to shoot people with. I'm going back. To, I'm gonna talk. Let's. Hey guys, let's talk. <laughs> let's just talk it out, guys. <laughs> Let's just talk. Let's I mean, just talk. I do approve of the strategy because once she leaves, then the reinforcements come. That's exactly. And now you have a grenade ready for them. Exactly. All right. The grenade does not hit uh, the vulnerable saw thing, though, right? It doesn't hit the scan, though. That's a, a rule of the game: is that you can't hit sub targets with AOE. Gotcha. Yeah, get out of here, junkie. And now you uh, die. Uh, there we go. Alright. Now this guy be like, Hey, why'd you kill my friends? You <laughs> saved one of them. <laughs> you why'd killed... you do that? <laughs> Come on. What is this doing? The calculated movements doesn't mitigate the potential of this attack. Reduce the damage up. Okay, so that 20%. one's pretty good. What the hell? Uh... Interesting, that might be a bug. It's been a long time since I've looked at Predict, apparently. Rot row. Because I'm pretty sure it's 10%, not 20%. Ugh. Out of materials. Fortunate enemy part of the that magnifies. Those on the chest and damage that attack. Sure, why not? Let's do it. Oh no, that was kind of a waste. Is it? Yeah, well, mouse over this guy's uh, buffs. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, what does he want soothed? Like, I guess you get to live then, sir. Yep. Because <laughs> it might be more efficient to do this to you. Yeah. Right now, because I think I mentioned that this, since this is the first time you get diplomacy, I kind of kept it super easy, so it's kind of like the yeah of this right now it's the mo it's more efficient um obviously as zones go on that'll be Ooh. more bullets more bullets you can carry more bullets because you're what, what was it before 100 it before? uh well open your yeah oh there we go okay i got confused for a second yeah you're almost at the max bullets i like it Bullet, 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 bullet. So many bullets. <laughs> oh, jeez, he jumped right on top of you. Hey. He's like, hey. That's fucking Italian hands, man. Italian man, he wants to fight. Uh. 
Damn it. Well, this guy... Shoes, maybe... He won't have reinforcements. I guess we'll find out. He dies in one diplomacy. That helps. He takes his tower with him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but here's the thing. Is that the reinforcements uh, don't get see. to go on the turn they spawn on. So Sure. Sing. Crab man. Get out of here, crab man. Oh. <laughs> I am wondering how funny people will find these sound effects. I have a, I have a feeling I'm going to get some people being like this is this is silly. Oh. Are they just are they not AI sounds are they? Or they just or you find them from like some pack? No, they came they came from the same uh, asset stock pack I have of uh, sound effects that everything else came from. Oh, I okay. assume it's just the guy who made the sounds yelling into his mic. <laughs> Fair. They all seem to sound like the same guy. Very pop. Very most likely. This gun. All right, let's do this for fun. Yeah. Oh, and you get to see this. See, yeah. You shoot the weapon out of his hand, disarms him, and now he doesn't have a weapon. Whoa. Yeah. Well, tech. Oh, I thought you made a. I don't. I always think you're making a grenade. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but yeah, now he does very terrible damage. Yeah. Ah, Whatever. shoot him. I got tons of, I got tons of ammo. <laughs> uh, yeah, look at that damage. Because you got a crit on one of them. I, yeah, that's that nice 144. All right. Ugh, get me out of there. <laughs> yeah, I guess I haven't really tried. I always play this game in this weird manner of moving with Wazad and then clicking on things with the arrows. Or with the mouse, I mean. Oh. <laughs> hey. Whatever you are, there's a toll to get by here. A hundred jangles. Toss accents. One hundred bullets? That's rather exorbitant. It is. Geo, what are you doing? Who can afford that? I reckon a weird robot man that speaks can. Don't you backtalk me. Don't you. Josephar, I won't pay your toll. Furthermore, I have come to put an end to your roadblock. End your life. What? Why the fuck would you want to do that? Who do you work for? I'm Scott Steiner. I'm a snack freak and I'm not normal! Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm a freak nature. <laughs> I have come from a distant planet as an ambassador. To I seek to make peace with your war world leaders as well as everyone on the way. It's funny because if you do the default name of ambassador, like, I'm ambassador. I'm an ambassador. <laughs> oh, <laughs> says no. It twice. <laughs> yeah. So I'm kind of like, eh, that's your penalty for choosing the default name. I don't know. <laughs> sure. I'm ambassador. The ambassador. Move. Just kidding. I know it's a cutscene. Oh, sounds. Oh. Shalato, I think you missed your shot at world peace by a few years. You know, just a few. I shut the fuck up. I'll assume your Legi and spell something out for you. You think I'm a bad guy. That's bullshit. I'm exactly like everyone else. Exactly. I'm just on a down right now. See, everyone has their downs and everyone has their ups. You probably came from some jerk-ass village with a bunch of losers crying about my toll. I guarantee you those fuckers were doing the same shit like I am at one point. You know how I know? Because I used to live like them, fighting dickheads like me to protect my ghetto chalatos. At some point, shit changes. Water goes bad, you get invaded, people get sick, whatever. And it's back to the wasteland to become a dickhead again just to survive. <laughs> so fuck your righteous jerk-ass peace, man. You ain't shit to judge me. Wow, this guy's cussing a lot. And I got a fucking machine gun, so I get to do what I want, bitch. No! No charisma! Hey, do you use the button? Alright, so... You spent all your attribute points, but... Aw, oh, damn it. But... Remember but. that thing you crafted in the tutorial crafting. Recon. Oh. Oh, you just make new ones. Yeah. Do it. Interesting. Ah, oh, okay. 
Oh, so that item wasn't even. I didn't even read it that much. It wasn't required. It's just, but you want the player to know they can make it. Yeah, I, you know, I figure I have to force them. I just want to draw their attention to crafting, and I'm like, well, I have to force them to craft something. So, yeah. I decided that thing because it's like, uh, you know, yeah. Without without having another tutorial about fucking respecking, he's like, here, you get a respec item. <laughs> Oh, you do have to watch this cutscene again. This is the best I could figure out how to uh, organize Oh, it doesn't... This. It doesn't just go to the end and be like, Hey, I told you to get out. Nah. I just figured... I guess it's like replaying well, it, it. It's also the, where it saves. So if you die on the boss fight, it, you would see that choice again. So that, you know, you can press the, the leave button so you don't have to keep dying to the boss if you're dying to the boss. So it's like multi-purpose, basically. Sorry. Right, okay. Wait. So I was. You're saying if you if you die to the boss, you yeah the, the point where he where it gives you the choice there, that's where it saves. So that's oh, why that's why there's an exit option yeah, okay. there. Gotcha. So, I mean, I kind of I didn't have infinite like chaining things. I kind of was like, I think this is good enough. Otherwise, I don't know. It's it becomes a real headache to like figure out this like. Spider web of choices. Yeah, see how it says it saved. Justify, your oh, arsenal yeah. is impressive, but mine is beyond your comprehension. You are in no position to stop my mission. Back down, and I'll let you go freely. God damn bullshit, why me? All right, fine. And drop the weapon. <laughs> I just use these sounds because I'm just like yeah. People yelling, you're going back to the apex, aren't you? I'm not going with you. So what? You're leading me? Fuck you, bitch. Wow, this language. Ah, <laughs> oh, so sweet. Yeah, you were definitely a mistake. Get out of here before I crack open your skull. Yeah, at some point I was like, okay, people are spending too much time walking, so I used the leash animation to <laughs> speed up the cutscenes. Um, I'm grateful you came along. Me and Geosafar were bound to go our separate ways, bloody or otherwise. I never wanted to be part of this. He helped me so much, but I've been through this kind of relationship before. I realized he was using me. What I want is to get the Kypris. All I ask is you let me keep most of the stash to pay my way. I'll let you take one item as a peace offering. I accept those terms. What are you, anyway? I didn't realize there were people other than humans on this planet. I am a people. Boy, they didn't make your brain good, did they? I'm Arctrix. I'm human. A new human, anyway. Like X-Men? <laughs> <laughs> You'll see a whole lot of us if you're heading to the Apex. That's the capital, right? Does that mean your leader is a new human? I ain't, ain't nobody my leader. You on your own dealing with that mess. Anyway, Kypris needs me as much as I need them. If you find yourself in the neighborhood, come by and say, what's scrapping, huh? Your uh, slang reminds me when uh, Cyberpunk, they they say chum. I think it's it's like chum, but in a nice way, I think. Yeah. And so when you had the cholata or whatever, <laughs> chum. That was big when that series, when the, uh, the anime came out. People were all saying chum for a little bit. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Why didn't you Pretty tell sweet. me she's human? Her DNA is 99.99% human. I thought it was obvious. I should. Pr I, I meant to uh, look that up, but I, I forgot to to look up like ratios of uh, percentages. I just remember reading something that said like rats have like 95% the same DNA as humans. So it's like, I don't know. It's, it's a funny statistic to analyze. Like sure. someone who's a mutant would be virtually identical to a human in terms of looking at their DNA code. Virtually identical. It's a UFC term. Also, the apex of UFC locations. This is very UFC heavy. <laughs> oh, I guess the apex that, is like one of their gyms. I guess that works because the apex is a old is going to be an old uh, sports arena that's been oh shit, you know, turned into a capital city that hosted mixed martial arts. <laughs> that's like so so specific. You play later. Backstabber. All right, or no, he's the he's the back he's the bastard. That's right, crab bastard. Crab bastard. Oh! Oh! Ow! 
Damn it, I guess you're right. <laughs> reinforcements have a rot. Oh, reinforcements. It's funny, even I forget which fights have reinforcements sometimes. I, I try to uh, throw them sometimes when they're expected, sometimes when they're not. Just to keep you on your toes, you know? Yeah. Goodbye. All right. Oops. Wait, that's not what I want. Uh, sure. Throws a rock at you. <laughs> oh, gonna target her eyeball. Oh. Mm. I was thinking of you. something maybe I should spoil, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, maybe I should, just because you're not going to play the demo a second time in this area. Because um, obviously the game is supposed to be open-ended, so that's why I don't force you to go back, but you should probably go back. Oh. Just because... To go buy something? Because, the, yeah, the vendor opens up. And, uh, you know, some of the stuff might be interesting. I thought about it, and I've, you know, I've definitely done the same thing in playtesting, where I just keep fighting guys, and I'm like, oh, well, now I can't buy cool things. 7 HP! Should have optimized the melee approach. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Get to Scott Steiner. <laughs> get to Scott Steiner. Diplomacy. Uh, you only get knocked out. <laughs> yep. Diplomacy. Oh, yeah, non lethal. Beating her over the head with a gun. Yeah, once you get the gun blade. But yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, I'll go. I was going to go back after this guy. Oh, okay, Let's sure. See. I mean, that, that makes sense because there's like that dungeon that's a whole. Exactly. Whole harder area, so. Kind of makes sense to beef up and you'll have a bunch of combat data to spend so there's an interesting philosophy that I uh, I've been trying to figure out uh, in terms of design because I always have this problem in games where it's like you know obviously obviously it's like the quest design uh, idea of you know, morality system, it's like, oh, you beat the quest, that gives you a bunch of morality XP. But, like, killing a guy doesn't give you that much. So far, I haven't done that. Like, killing guys is basically equivalent to how you solve the Geosafar thing. Actually, no, it's not. It's only slightly more XP for Geosafar. Uh, and I don't know, I kind of think I want to go in that direction, but uh, maybe I'll... Just ask random people. Like, what do you think? Should it should it still follow the regular quest? I mean, I guess maybe it has to because that way you can make sure that way I can make sure people level up their uh, morality in the right pace. I just hate the notion that like killing these three hundred people that was five XP, but this one guy because he's a main character that's like a billion XP. Oh yeah. yeah. Thumbs up! Thumbs up! Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah! Whoop. Hmm. I just had an idea about that. I wonder if I could... Interesting. Nothing. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, no. no! The thing! But you got a medium oh, scrap chunk. Sure, so yeah. fast. Yeah, it's interesting when that happens. Shh. I'm sure... I mean, that's my hope, is that speedrunners decide to speedrun this game and, uh... <laughs> and they figure out whatever that is to maximize their movement speed. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. It's definitely something to do with the mouse. Yeah. It's like he's getting stuck on something, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there it is. Found it, I think. Bye. I had it happen. 
Yeah, I don't know. I, uh, oh, yeah, it's like. Anyway. Yeah. Oh. Target. Scott Snyder. Assignment. Assessment. Friendly. Hell yeah. <laughs> that roadblock is Oh. Gone. Hey, yo, sweet my gelato. The jangles be jangling now. Ha <laughs> ha. Jim, it would make sense if you stopped jerking me around, yes? No more favors. Just show me your wares. Hey, of course. What do you mean? You I wouldn't see it. Oh. Your, your ammo count appears for a frame yeah. down here. Yeah, I've okay. seen that. That's something I uh, have to look into if there's some kind of way to fix that. I'm not really sure. Yeah. There might not be, but hopefully what I'm thinking is that I can put in, like, my idea of how to fix it would just be put in, like, a short delay before it appears. Yeah. That's long enough that, you know, these chat windows... It'll still probably appear if, like, there isn't a chat window during a cutscene, but at least it doesn't keep flashing like that. Indeed. Otherwise, I don't know. I don't know how to make it just not appear during a cutscene. <laughs> Maybe maybe someone on the forums knows. They'll be like, if dialogue window is open, don't show or something. Maybe there's some sort of Yeah, some workaround. Some sort of condition like that. Because obviously there's already a condition that you have to have a gun equipped for the show. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I see that right there. Yeah, it, keeps, it just keeps blinking. Yeah, now you got this. Oops. So I can't... Okay, so that's, I talked to the shopping cart. Yeah. Oh. Essential goods. Oh, I did want to ask about that. What do you think about the name of essential goods? I mean, you clicked on it, so maybe that sounds interesting to you. But yes, I didn't know how to because categorize the stuff. Now, are these goods actually essential? Uh, I would say all of them are. Yeah. Unlocks. Because there's that crafting for the armor, Oops. which. Uh, I forget if you bought that already. Unfortunately, this crafting thing is kind of dumb. You can just buy the recipe again, which is oh, fucking, ugh. fucking horrible. Yeah. Maybe I can figure out some some way to prevent that from happening. That would be nice. Um, these scrap chunks. So bullets. I have okay. So I have one in possession over there. Oops. Yeah. Eh. Okay. Oh, why do I have the equip menu here? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why there's an equip button there, but. Boog. I mean, it's not a bug. It, the person who programmed it felt oh, it's the just... equip button there. It's just Ugh. they want they wanted players to be able to equip things from the store. Maybe I can see sure. if the that plugin has the ability to turn that off, but I don't think it does. I think it's kind of questionable. Can't you? Very small gun that seems inappropriate for direct combat. Lethal when fired. Holds one. Dude, there's so much damage. Jesus. One bullet. Yeah. What? Wait. We'll re well, hold on. Let me read the one part. Melee range, not a strike. I just wanted to read that. Oh, okay. But it only costs three bullets. <laughs> That's pretty good. Eight. Oh, I'm fucking right. Okay. S cross X. I actually don't know how to say that. How do? That's like a term for side by. Is it just side by side? Do you just read it as side by side? For which part? S X S for shotguns. Oh. I think you read it as side by side. I don't know if there's some other way to I, read that. Yeah, I would have said X X S. I would just saw just some name. I didn't. I wouldn't have think thought of it as side by side. Yeah. I think... Anti riot carbine. Fire extinguisher. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so yellow is non lethal. Correct. That's right. So we stay in red. <laughs> Huntsman 308. Sniper I mean, I, I do like sniper rifle. And I do like long guns. Let's see. 300 damage a shot to enemies above 90 health. Sure. Do it. I guess here's where you do the equip, yeah. Yeah. That kind of makes sense. But it's still kind of, yeah. Alright. I don't have anything else for it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ah, oh, god damn it. Why do you keep clicking the, clear? <laughs> there's a slight delay, dude. Like I'm pressing escape and then it like doesn't it doesn't track where the mouse is immediately. Oh. There's like a slight delay. It's probably yeah, because I mean I don't mouse. But like, yeah, I'm clicking and like I'm I'm so I have escape, one hand on escape, one hand on left mouse. So I'm like 
putting my mouse where I want it to be and I'm hitting escape, knowing where my mouse is going to be, but because of the delay, it doesn't instantly go. Hmm. Well, here's so, like, a RPG Maker specific oops. tip. Uh, right click counts as escape as well. That's true. So, I've done it on accident a few times. So that was always a nice way to get through these menus. You know what it is too, I think, is maybe if I'm... Because when you leave the box, let's see. Yeah, like that. Like, I got the box like that. If I go around the box, oh, I, yeah. it's, it's this stuck, is, you know? This is something... Well, I don't know about that part, but I just want to solve the fact that, like... Um, I don't want that stuff to even be there is one of the things. Uh, like, when you go to equip, it should just skip to clicking on the slot. Yeah. Razor. Be, yeah. This blade is sharp. It seems more like a tool than a weapon. Some oversized big blade hits, hits all enemies. Ooh, it's kind of nice. I'll buy it. I, I can't. I can't equip at the same time. I'm buying it. Yeah, barb wrap, bleeding. Wah! Black square. Yeah, why is that happening? Your computer's slow or something. <laughs> <laughs> Gen uh, oh yeah, I got. I bought that already. Yeah, yeah one position one. Nope, stunning is not lethal enough, so... Not lethal enough. Yeah, it doesn't increase the damage, but it does change it to energy, which isn't super relevant at the beginning of the game. It's something I'll use more later on, but, you know, it ignores... Um, the idea is that it ignores uh, armor. Oh, uh, okay. So whenever you see someone that has, like, the armor icon and says, reduces physical damage, then it's like, aha, this does energy damage. Programs, blades of light, recharge protocol. Yeah, all the uh, all the computer and fabricator ones I made way cheaper because I was like, I bet people will be less interested in these, so I'll make them cheaper. Uh, fair enough. Thankfully for this menu, you notice that those are being removed as you yeah. craft them. Yeah. Um, I have more control over limiting that. At least I was able to figure that out. Oh, the, the equip item, like the backpack sound is like the same as Baldur's Gate. <laughs> oh, you bought two. Oh, well. Yeah, I was just like, oops. You know. Blades of Light. You didn't stop thinking of a fucking Herod in Scarlet Monastery. Blades of Light. <laughs> Which is irrelevant because it's phase two sod right now for anyone who watches this that also plays SOD. Scarlet Monastery is like the main five man. Feels uh, better at brain. Um, All right. healing. Yep. Long shot. Keep my guys to diplom keep my guy alive to di diplomat all over them. <laughs> the cornaria, hell yeah. And if they don't like it, then fucking blast them. With a blast sniper them. rifle. They call you know, as the the, the tongue in cheek term sword point diplomacy. It's like <laughs> grenade point diplomacy. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes that'll be relevant. Um at least in the future of diplomacy, you have to. Some enemies will be like, you have to soften them up first before they listen to you. So, yeah, beat them into submission. Dogs, and you can't do. I did think about this. I did wonder if people would like try to do because there's no like the diplom the diplomacy weapon necessarily. So I was like, I wonder if yeah. people would just equip a gun to like shoot, you know, whatever wildlife, and then, you know. They can diplomacy the rest of the time. Maybe. Diplomacy, yell at the dogs. Oh, you didn't... Wait, did you craft the gunblade? I forget. I did, oh, but... Didn't put it on. Yeah, yeah, I don't think I equipped it. Uh, whatever. You. Oh, the oh. armor. Oh boy, here comes the damage. Oh my god. Ow. Killed super fast. Uh, you didn't craft the um, armor, right? I don't think so. I probably meant to. Let's see. Let me go back to the shop. So here's the thing that I... I don't know if this is that big of an issue. But it is a nice thing. It's one of those things where it's like... 
how how much effort do I put into? Um, oh, did you not buy it before? I thought you already bought it. Data. Oh, the carbon. I don't think I did. Oh, yeah. This is another unfortunate thing because I removed the crafting window from uh, this thing from the main menu, or I don't have it at the main menu because you know the narrative is you build it at the base. Um, so you can't see what recipes you have unless you uh, yeah. go to the fabricator, which is pretty annoying. But the main thing I was going to say is, in addition to that, you can't see... Uh, yeah, program slash body is weird categories. I wonder if there's a way I can fix these categories to be less awkward. I didn't even realize it cost a turn to use. I guess I'm not looking close enough. Streamer, streamer view. <laughs> I just use it and just assume it's... Uh, yeah, I'm not even looking at my numbers that much. Alright, so... Oh, yeah, I have to attach the mod, right? Yeah. You can do it from this menu, yeah. Okay. Junblade. I think by default, you're supposed to use this menu, but you can turn on the extra option of doing it in equip, which, I don't know, makes more sense to me, but I'm fine with players having options. Yeah. What is this? Oh, this is what a bug. I'm pressing right right now. Uh, what is that? I'm trying to go to a different screen that has no data on it. That's weird. I don't know what that's even doing. Pressing right on the. Just oh, like here D? we go. Yeah. Oh, it's comparing to other. I thought it was trying to like compare to like other characters. It's interesting. So yeah, here it has info, but I did it on the. It's. Uh, I assume it's because yeah. you were looking at something that's unique to that character. Yeah. Or something. Mm -hmm. hmm. It's interesting. I do know there's a button you can press to cycle between characters in this screen. I think it's page up and page down for some reason. Well, that's all. Nope. There yeah, we go. I see. That's an RPG Maker thing. <laughs> yeah. I could probably change the default button to, like, I don't know, Q and E or something. Some yeah, that's where your hand is going to be. At, yeah. Uh, so yeah, you got the armor now. You got the gun blade. Yes. Whoa, she was close enough to be picked up on your mic. Yeah, it's interesting. It's all good. <laughs> dogs. All right, dogs. Yeah. You damn dogs. See. Okay, so this is the one that went crazy. No, this is the one that went crazy. Whatever. I probably should delay it. Whatever. Ah, bark. Bark. Long shot. Just instant kill somebody. Yep. Uh, murder. Oop. I don't know if you did that intentionally, but you chose the correct target, but you you he that character makes the other person go crazy. Oh uh, yeah, not intentional. Yeah, the lay pattern. It's the best. Oh, I forgot to mention this was something I changed that's different from uh when you played. So guns, um because you know how reloading uh used to put you at the end of the turn, now it uh, moves you to second last, second to last in turn order. Which is, uh, I sure. can reload out of combat too, correct? Yes. Or... Deadly strike! Oh, the armor, that's right. Fucking... Yeah, and you still never use uh, the optimized suppose... melee thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, is that, does that get around it? No, it doesn't get around armor, it's just more damage. Oh, because I'm just used to shooting, I guess. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Optimize. Now you can oh, God, give hurts. that dog a suplex or something. I don't know. <laughs> Gun, blade, slash. No, I was afraid of that. I should have just used the bigger weapon. <laughs> All right. Oh, God. Hey, man, look at your health. Jeez. Yeah. Dogs are biting Very up. low. Reroute power. Laser. 
slam. One twelve, yeah, not enough. Deadly straight slam, yeah. Gonna yeah. increase the high levels. Why not? Yeah. yeah. Suplex to the dog. Ooh, big heal. Well, it's the same, but still worth it. Yeah, uh, optimal uh, heal. Whatever. I know it's I can I can like just one shot this thing, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. Haha. -ha. Gun slash. Sing. Mm. Oh, it stuns him, right? I was like, what does that do to him? Because I usually just blast these guys. No, he doesn't even have a turn. Oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Laser. Conflict resolve. Oops, he didn't reload before the fight. Oh, god damn it. Oh, <laughs> god. This thing has a lot of HP. What the fuck? Whoopsies. It's a boss. All right. It's a boss. It's a double boss. So Yeah. Because they're both unique enemies. Yeah, I almost want to reload right now, just so I can one-shot this thing. Shit. Oh, well, let's try it without. Sorry if I missed something there, I was... Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Bruh. Reinforcements? Reinforcements. It did not. S Wait, did it say reinforcements? It didn't say. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think it said it. Yeah. Okay, good. It shouldn't. Okay. This is uh, gotta figure out what the boss is. Gun slash. Uh, vocal cords. No more roughing. No more going roof. Yeah. Roof. God, it hurts. Yeah, glass breaking. Oh, it's like just too low. It's just barely not strong enough. <laughs> I don't want to reload. Slam does do knockdown, though. Oh, uh, okay. Let's so do it. got that going for it. And it can crit. Oh, it didn't crit. Ah. Because you spec out of your crit. Ah. Yeah, and it's a pure Diplo. Yeah. <laughs> so that works, because that's kind of like Ow. the thing I want. It kind of makes diplomacy harder, because you have to invest points into it. Yeah, and so you fight something that can't, yeah. Yeah, so you otherwise could have been all damage, man. Oh shit, you're low on health. I am. Uh, they turn next. Yeah, look up. Yeah, I see it. I got so there is a the dog's gonna attack between fabricator. So I, I might be screwed. Uh, I mean, mouse over. Actually, I could like. Or not? Yeah, I just kill or, it, right? Yeah, you can just kill it, and then it gets removed from the turn order. Yeah. That's what I'll do. Fifty-one damage per hit, one total damage. Cannot crit. I just want to see what you see. Yeah, I always encourage that. Oops. Especially since that's a big part of this, is knowing how much damage you're going to do, so you can be sure to not die. A rope! A rope! Fuck. Alright. More of the power. Please. Give me All the right. juice. Yeah, All you gotta do is gun slash. Yeah, I did it. Boop. Yeah. This guy. So here's an interesting interaction. I suggest you reload. <laughs> okay. Because you right. uh, see how he goes last? That means you go second to last, so you still go before him. Oh, that's where guns put you said? It puts you... Yeah, second to last in the turn order. So that's, okay. that's kind of the thing, because I've been trying to figure out, because reloading definitely, you know, it sucks, but I want it to not suck as much. It yeah. has to have some sort of cost to it. I think that's a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice solution. 
Because you can still be smart about it and be like, Aha! I still get to go. That's fair, yeah. Let's see what the floor is damage output. But you... Oh. Oh no, I see. It's a new turn. Okay. Gun slash. I can reload, but at least I'll save my ammo. Out of mana, oh my god. Yeah. All she has is recharge. Doesn't she have a... Uh... Yeah. Boom, 80 instead of 40. It's a lot, yeah. It's nice. Because, yeah, you got the thingy. The thingy. Stab. It doesn't matter, I just kill it, but whatever. I always that's always a habit I have, is I just optimize damage anyway. Just to be like, yep. more damage! Oh, you got a level. I leveled. Now yeah. is that from experience or because that's like a story boss? Uh from XP. Where can I see my XP? Oh, that's a that's a big problem right now. I there's a uh, status screen that normally RPG Maker has, but I removed it because it's like 99% useless information. Oh, okay. And also, it's just like another button to kind of like trim down that menu. Um, but yeah, that's where you'd see how much XP you have to level. <laughs> two towers. The two towers. The, the two Lakers. towers, yeah. <laughs> like, Listen, buddy. Don't make I'm me kill you. Yep. Yeah, I tried to have uh, similar guys have similar weaknesses in terms of diplomacy. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Like, well, I'll take my tower with me. <laughs> see yep. you later. <laughs> I see how it is. Delay pattern. So it's not moving him. Am I? Am I? It's no. supposed to like. Oh, I can't. Or I can't work? point at this. I tried to point at my screen in real life. You're looking at next oh. turn and not current turn. Over here, gotcha. Changes that okay. for current turn. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's useful to see both turns, but obviously the most important is current turn. Someone gave the feedback that like it should be more centered, which would be interesting. So yeah, like, I, so I like, think I agree with that. So yeah. like, yeah, that would be like basically on the other side of the next, so that way you kind of see them shift over from next to current or something. Yeah. So it's like I can see that. That might look a little cleaner too. Loot, so much loot in the optional dungeon. To clear the whole dungeon out. Oh my god. Oh. All right, what are you trying to do? <laughs> I'm, I'm at the mouse, dude. I'm trying to get in the place to click on that. And the mouse is putting me all over the place. Oh, interesting. Because it's trying to get collision. Like, it's trying to figure out where I want to go because it's collisioning all over the place. And... Yeah. Whoa. God, that is so fast on tactical. Yeah. Uh, luckily, I can change that with a single number if I wanted to, but I think it makes sense. I just have them. I that was something I introduced. I think I did that between uh, last patch and this one. Not that it would matter to you, because you've always been playing on tactical. But I introduced a little thingy, uh, common event that allows me to tweak how long that delay is when they go boop, 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 before they actually start chasing you. Oh, uh, gotcha. So like on easy, it's like a whole 60 frames or something. And on Here's tactical, it's like I don't know five frames or something. So it's gotcha. Like almost immediate. Just blah. Blah. Yeah, it's like I'm pretty much just, yeah, it's going. Okay, so my thought process is I'm going to do this and they're going to get reinforcements. And I'm going to be over action economy out. But we'll see. Oh, no. All right. Yeah. Is that your way of saying I did reinforcements too many times this time? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. 
Or it's mostly like that that guy looks like the guy who constantly is re consistent as reinforcements, but yeah, overall, uh, maybe a little bit. Yeah, maybe a little bit like I'm expecting it because I'm on tactical. Yeah. So mm -hmm. fast, so fast. Yeah, some of them, although sometimes, uh, like that fight in particular, you actually can't avoid them once you aggro them, but that's because he's guarding something important. Gotcha. So it does oh, this, they're all different. No. Still does the animation, though. Crab bastard. Get out of here, crab bastard. Start position soothe. Oh, I'll soothe. Get soothe and drive away first. Oh, he didn't. Oh, he did. Oh, yeah. Okay. Reinforcements. Reinforcements. Whoa, what a two time. Of them. Oh, God. Yeah. Soothe. Assert. Yeah, you crap bastard. Oh! Oh! Poker eye out. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's the better one. Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. 65. But you have a blade. <gasps> so what is this? I, I know you mentioned I've had use it for half its max regardless of any resistance to the attack. Only works on sentient targets. Yeah. Doing half so yeah, the main thing is doing half damage when you could potentially do full damage. Um, or half. Like, everything everything in this uh, demo so far, this demo takes, like, either half or full damage, so there's not really a time to use all in this yeah. stuff, so I'm kind of like, hmm. I thought about making it do full 100%, but I was like, eh, that, the problem with that is it's, like, too good once I have actual boss mechanics. Sure. It's just like, you just wait for solve and then use it on the boss, and it's kind of dumb. <laughs> Laser her in the eye. Eh. Yeah. Goodbye. Throw a rock. Yeah. Parry, parry, Ooh, parry. Miss. Yeah, because you uh, gouged the eye out, so she's permanently uh, yes. blind now. 60%. Bang. Yeah. Uh, and then you killed her. You get yep. to die. <laughs> yeah, I just choose you because it's better action economy right now. <laughs> I could kill him. So I will. <laughs> yeah, body slam him. Uh, it's not lethal damage, technically. Yeah. Six chemicals. Oh, sick. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's staying on screen now? Uh, or is it because I haven't clicked off yet? Oh, is it always on screen? I'm yeah, it's always on okay. screen, yeah. Oh, no, no, it's not. That 140, part, okay. Yeah. yeah, that part shows you how much it costs versus your current instead of your total. Yeah, that is... I get it now, but it honestly is a bit confusing. Because I was like, wait, so I'm on 116 max? Like, oh, I'm out of, you know. Like, I get I get what you're saying, and I do like it, the information, but it is currently presented. It is a little confusing. Yeah, I'm not sure I mean. how I can change that, to be honest. Oh, actually, maybe I do know. Maybe I can... I'm trying to, there's probably something I'm I think like, I, kind I, of I thinking. Think, yeah. I think I would just have to put, like... I think I would just... Hmm, what would I do? Because I can just put that ammo display in there, which would make it bigger, but... Uh, I don't know. That would be a, 
might be a little redundant. I don't know. Maybe I mean maybe. Yeah, think I, about it, but I mean the funny thing is I've had the same problem too, where I was like, why didn't my total change? This is a bug, and I'm like, wait, no. Yeah. <laughs> That's not what happened. Big. Exactly. So, because it's actually because it's like right the same style, right? The number slash number, and then it's yeah. You what's well, one screen away from each other? You know, one you press escape and you see the other one. So the other thing I wanted to confusing. do was uh, I really wanted to add something to the main menu. I mean, maybe I should just have that display. Oh, you know what? There's a mod for showing money on the screen at all times. So maybe I'll just have that in a separate corner or something. Uh, hmm. But what I want to add, I also want to add your chemicals to be on the screen at all times, so you can be thinking about how many you have. There. Because... Those are pretty nice to burn through. Because... I don't know if you noticed at the store, I guess I should... Hmm, I, I go back and forth thinking about how I should probably tutorialize the chemicals in some way, but... They don't have any value beyond using them in combat. And, uh, you know, you restore half of them when you visit your base. Oh, uh, okay. So, like... Just... Also, slight bug here. It's showing oh. my status effect, like... Yeah, because your it's mouse... It's a placement. Is, your yeah. mouse is where the, uh... Where your character is. So it's doing... Yeah. That's a bug with that, uh, plugin. I don't know if I can do anything about that. Oh, maybe there is. Maybe I can change it so that you can't. You don't get the information from mousing over your portrait. You have to mouse over the icon. Because you can mouse over the icon right there, right? Because that's what it's showing you. Yeah, okay. So maybe I can turn that off in one location, and it'll be fine. Maybe. Maybe. Because, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's particularly useful to mouse over yourself to see your info. Like... Like, yeah. Ah, I'm bleeding, I guess. Jeez, that kind of hurts. Yeah, that guy actually has a, uh, a randomized attack. He's like the only character in the game right now who has random damage range. So uh, okay. He can hit two times, or three times, or four times. Uh, and there's also a weapon well, in the game that does the same thing. The uh, multi-bladed weapon that was from the quest reward. Ah, uh, okay. This should be. Look, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's mouse control. Oh, brutal. Uh, mouse control is kind of wacky, huh? Yeah. Unfortunate. Yeah, unfortunate. Could break it open, but I detect it is rigged to explode. It would be safer to find the switch. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this guy has problems. I. With kinda, his area, yeah. I kind of trapped him in too small of an area. Backstabber. <gasps> Reinforcements. Yeah, fucking... This shit's OP in certain situations. Hmm. Trail. Oh, it's cost chemicals, okay. Oh, you're right, I'll leave. But it's like, no, I stay and <laughs> I fight. <laughs> I don't believe. He's gonna break his legs first, huh? <laughs> Fading. See, I'll do this. Assert my position. This is one shot? Right, yeah, okay. It doesn't matter, he's dead. Leave. Yeah, I was trying to think to myself if there's some kind of way I can get them to uh, do their withdrawal thing as soon yeah, as, immediately. As, as soon as they're yeah. at zero. But I'm not Indeed. sure. I'll have to think about that. It definitely would be nicer, but Yeah, that's kinda weird when you're like they're empty and you're just waiting for them. Yeah. A little strange. Ah, oh, gotta Ammo. start shooting. Oh, so I shouldn't like almost not pick up anything. I can kill this motherfucker first. The hardest fight. Whoa. Whoa, lots of mans. Lots of dudes. Yeah, 
guess it doesn't really matter to delay his turn, but shoot some fools. Uh dead instantly. <laughs> Hell yeah. You're like, I'm sorry. I had to kill you because I need to spend my bullets. It's you. It's exactly. It's you. So I guess that's something I could do. Because I do have another skill that I've already, you know, designed. I both designed and I have it working. I just don't have, like, an animation. Uh, you know, all the all the polished stuff for it. Um, which costs ammo for diplomacy. So it seems like that's kind of what makes the most sense. Uh, to give to the player as their first skill instead of solve. Because basically what happens is uh, you get a, you get another skill at level 2 and then like once you level up um, the morality things, that's where extra skills, skills come from for the chassis for there. So there are two skills beyond uh, damn exploding everyone. Yep. Murder. Time for diplomacy is ended. <laughs> so yeah, so I guess I've always struggled to figure out which diplomacy thing to give first, and I think I did solve because it was the least dangerous. Uh, but maybe I need to rethink that. Ah! Oh! She oh. has the skilled swords. Oh shit! Ow! And she got lucky because she only has a 25% chance. Yeah, it still got me. Kick her in the face anyway. Ooh, crap. Yep. Don't mean. <gasps> Computer. Level three. Fabulous. Fabulous. Marvelous. Right. Oh, you didn't reload. Oh, no. I forget about the reloading thing. Oh yeah, it's R button. That's the other thing I kind of want to do is put that on the screen. Oh like, yeah, oh for sure. That'd be hard to reload. I would love that. Well, that's okay. There we go. I've got ammo. I mean, this is and like max back out. Yeah. The end anyway. The uh, demo, yeah. But you might as well check out this. This is kind of a. Oh, there's a switch I have to hit somewhere. No, no, you hit the switch. You hit the generator. Was it after I killed the guy and automatically? Oh, I just did it here. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I honestly barely. I just thought it was just more loot. <laughs> so I'm sure, and and that's honestly, like, I may not be the one who thinks that. Yeah, you know, I'd probably just like click and shit. Yeah. I probably put up a text box where she says, "I think that opened the door" or something. Yeah. All right. Whoa! Boom! Stuff. Lots of things. Too many bullets to carry. Yeah, you got the last yeah. exotic item of the game. Unfortunately, I think you killed everyone. So I can't use it? <laughs> can't really use it. This was the problem I kind of realized as I was building this thing. I was like, oh, you kind of get a lot of these rewards kind of late, but it'll make more sense if the game has, like, you know, more areas to go to. Yeah, the full game. Yeah. What, what did I even get? I didn't even see it. The S1 I was errand. Where is it? It's a inventory. Gun. Uh, it's a chun. So that is something to think about because it's like I it was fast. The icon's so fast, you know what I mean? It's like a little red thing. I'm like, what the fuck? And I, you know, S1 Aaron is like in universe name, you know. So, yeah. uh, so I don't know if you want to like maybe have it stay on screen or make it like really obvious to gun. Yeah, I could. Uh, there's a number of things. I kind of want to just be consistent with like you loot things and they just do the pop-up rather than having the call out that you have to dismiss. Uh, yeah. I, I get it, but, you know, at the same I had no idea that was a weapon, right? Like, you know how that is when you're playing a game, you're like, what the fuck did I just get? And then you're, like, going through your inventory. Like, that's not intuitive either, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think there's a middle ground you can do. I mean, I guess I want people to, like, look at it and be like, what is this? Uh, yeah. This the name was so fast, though, you know what I mean? I guess yeah. arguably also, I'm, I'm also, like, half talking to you, you know what I mean? So, yeah. I mean, it, one, so there is a thing some... where how fast it pops up, I usually put a wait command when it's a big item, and then, like, I wait between each pop-up, so I can always just make that, like, a little bit slower. Sure. Maybe, like, two seconds or something, yeah. Well, two seconds. First, it's going to be a long, long time. time I, think it's like, yeah. I think it's, like, 15 frames right now, but or maybe okay. 10 frames, but I can increase it to, like, 20 or 30 or something. Sure. Holds four uses, requires eight 
bullets. Yeah. Do all guns say reduce by user efficiency, or is that just yes. the multi shot guns? Oh, okay. That is all guns. That is the point of that stat. Actually, I sorry, I lied. There's two guns that don't have it. Okay. One's the fire extinguisher, because <laughs> that's technically a gun. Oh, okay. And the other one's the handshake, because it already, already only costs one to reload, so it can't go below one. Gotcha. So, this is arguable. I'm not saying that, but since that's a general rule, I feel it doesn't need to be listed in every gun's tool, too. That is true. But at the same time, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I understand you want people to see that. So yeah, I have you a, decide how you want to do it, but that's how I feel. I have a tendency to yell at players the same information a lot, to be like, please yeah. notice this, like, thing <laughs> that tells you things you need to know. Yeah, uh, definitely seems... It's something that's already kind of wordy up there versus this part. I get what you're... Like, you, you never know what they're going to do, but, you know, you can see it when... I guess here it doesn't say what it does, though, does it? No, it does. If you go to assign points. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so. Yeah. Charisma maxed out. And now you can already spend points in something else. Do More it. guns. So, yeah, maybe I'll... More so, poetry. I didn't mention what that skill was. The skill that costs ammo is that it's basically bribe. You just throw the bullets at them, and it stuns them for a long time. Because they're like looking, like picking it up. Because they're like, oh, oh my boy, gosh. bullets, yes. Bullets. <laughs> Hooray, money. All right. That's uh, it then. I did it. I did the demo. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's already on there. I don't know if you feel like updating that part one. Part two. Oh, part two? Okay. Because the last time, for those people in the audience who don't know why there's that yellow highlight there, that's just because we added the audio cut category afterwards um and uh we didn't feel like going back and actually reviewing these things so i just i just guessed and just shoved numbers in there and so yep. automatic messiah is in there and i gave myself a pretty generous 4.5 for audio <laughs> uh i'm the greatest i was like yeah i put in uh stock assets instead of rtp hooray much better yeah um all right yeah, that's right. Okay, so the yellows aren't real scores. We're just going, I guess, going by memory. Yeah, yellows are not real scores, except for uh, Ballad of Redoff and Treasonous Tom. I just gave them zeros because I figured, why not? I assume that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair because there's RTP. Yeah. Yeah, I think the scores will probably be pretty similar, but I can just use this as categories to, mem to remember what I want to go over. Yeah. Um, all right, I did, let's see. I did find it interesting that you chose to do diplomacy. I actually didn't expect that. You know, it's because though, and maybe this may not. Well, it is what it is, but it's uh, combatively, it's like the best AOE. <laughs> oh yeah, that's why I did it. Oh, well, part of it was to uh, to it, just try it. Yeah, it's all enemies. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I was. But it was the AOE. Yeah. Someone try it at some point because that's something I have like not much feedback on or any feedback on so far. So I'm kind of like, you know, in my own playthroughs, I do think it's. A little boring uh compared to the other things but i don't know yeah that was <laughs> partially why i did it was also that was like the last time i did it i didn't do it it wasn't even in yet right yeah. so i just wanted to see what it was like and then maybe find some bugs <laughs> <laughs> get the boogs um all right let's see so so um bu -bu -bu. okay let's start with gameplay um so i actually you know and this is this is a nice thing to say this is actually true though it's not biased uh just for my friend but <laughs> i do like how every encounter was its own you know, it, it avoided the dreaded uh, hold space bar. Um, I think, you know, we, we talk about that. We critique other games on it. It's almost only yeah. fair. You know, you, you fight it. And part of it is, you know, play on, but I, I chose to play on tactical. But yeah, it was every single fight. Even if I kind of got a rhythm and kind of learned what are the good things and what to do, I still had to. You know, especially because the three characters are so different, right? They don't... Yeah. Only one guy can attack and stuff. So it still made me 
you know, even when I kind of figured out what I wanted to do, you know, I was like, okay, uh, reroute, what is it? Delay or reroute power with the computer and then my guy, you know, do whatever big attack or I mean, diplomate, diplomate them <laughs> and then whatever that, that's a real word. And then the, uh, fabulous, you know, do, uh, um, what was a heal, right? And what, even when I got that, though, just because I, you know, each character was so different, I had to make sure I like did a turn order right, and and uh, and then of course it would react because the damage was high on certain mobs, or like the fight would go long enough, so I had to reroute power instead of uh, delaying attack or you know doing optimized stuff. And they use guns, you know, if sometimes they choose to use guns or not. So I did feel that was uh, well done. If you know, it almost, it almost felt like each fight was kind of its own mini puzzle game, right? Yeah. So, uh, that actually to keep it really unredundant, <laughs> unredundant, yeah. uh, fresh. And then uh, healing after every fight helps too. It's It sounds like counterintuitive, but honestly the whole in-system, in, you know, FF7, Final Fantasy based on D&D probably, sometimes it's just kind of tedious. To have to, especially if you make a game where maybe it's like really easy to heal, then you're just incentivized to finish a fight, run back two screens, heal, come back, right? <laughs> yeah. That's not fun either. So, in this, where I was like, oh, I'm just going to do this thing. I'm going to try this high damage move. Like Deadly Strike, you know, Deadly Strike, the fact that you, it's just once per combat. Um, you know, it's like, okay, well, I might as well just use it. Right, because I don't have to go back to an inn to refill it. Right, because if I had to go back to an inn to refill it or something, or maybe it was like 10 uses before resting, I would probably not use one. <laughs> right, I would just sit there and be like, oh, I, don't know. I, I might need all 10. So the fact that it would it would be like that, or, or I was like, oh, you know, this mob is going to die to my 60 energy move. If it didn't heal, then I would be like, well, I'm going to auto attack four more times and be bored. <laughs> You know, because I don't want to have to go back to the inn. Yeah. But the no, the fact that I know I'm going to heal, I'm just, just going to blow all my high mana stuff. Like the fight's pretty much over. I'm just going to, you know, kill these guys with like two moves instead of six or something. Yeah, that's what I always. No. That's what I always encourage people to do. When I see people just like auto attacking because like, there's only one guy left, I'm like, ah, you might as well just like blast them with whatever big move nuke them. Like optimize melee strike and sweet chin music, kill them. Yeah. It's like kick the shit out of them. And it's possible they're doing that because they're so used to other games, right? That yeah, they're like oh, it's auto attack. Because I mean, my game does have you know attrition systems, obviously, with the bullets and the chemicals. And the chemicals are probably the closest thing to what you're talking about. Where oh, I have to go to town to refill them, but you do get them not only from the scavenging, um, but you also get them. Some enemies will drop them sometimes. So, uh, and the other thing, and this is kind of like what I'm hoping kind of gives the preview of like, like oh man, I've got to, I'm going to plan my build and do these things. Um, you know, cause if you're doing a diplomacy build, you might spend, you obviously have to spend your points on charisma and you're like, okay, what else do I need? You might think to put points into efficiency for specifically for the fabricator, because that lowers the cost of uh, adrenaline to just be one chemical instead of five when it's maxed out. Yeah. So you can, constantly get double turns and shout sure. shout at people twice as fast <laughs> it's perfect yeah definitely i could see the the builds yeah the, the exact you know i was gonna bring up the ammo and chemical thing too because um that that is the attrition system yeah to help with the kind of the fact that you can you heal after every fight i figured that that does make it a little more interesting and then i you know knowing that Maybe I would never go super low, just me being a hoarder in these games, but I definitely could drop, you know, maybe like 30 below maximum, right? And I, I'd be fine with that because I'd probably get an idea of, of how much I'd be getting back between hard fights. Yeah. And so I would be like, yeah, I'll, I'll drop. And then, of course, I, you know, I got increased maximums. So that helps too. Yeah. And I'm going to. So. Put a bunch of increased maximums as the whole thing of encouraging players to explore. Because, you know, you only got two of them, but that increases you by 40. But imagine once you get Oops. like 10 of them, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah, ammo and chemicals. I think we we're talking about that. I did think about 
uh, I figure this would be a little too much work, so maybe I'll do this for... I just kind of push this back to the next patch that I do. I thought about introducing an item that you can buy for bullets, because everything costs bullets, that refills your chemicals to like 20 or something. Um, you know. Oh, so you like never run out fully. So yeah, you can... So you can, if you want to spam chemicals, it's just it's another thing to spend your um, bullets on to avoid being at max, you know. Sure. Because um, that was the other thing. I don't. I you looked at the the chunks, but I don't know if you fully thought about their their importance. <laughs> no. Um, I will say part of it is, and this is just how I play games. It's how you know you and you can take into account. Well, I just readers fatigue part of oh, me was just yeah. like man i just don't want to read all this shit you know what i mean and and part of it is and this is this is being of course it's up to you but like some of this stuff as i said is is a bit wordy and i'm like uh, i just just give me like bullet points of the important parts of this thing i'm reading versus you know i, I know you want to add flavor so I, i'm not saying don't put flavor in the game but for me personally and and you can take this how you will you can maybe put it on a spectrum of you know, some people like the flavor, some people don't, and then like meet in the middle somewhere. I don't know, but me personally, I just I just want the bullet points. Yeah. I want maybe one line of, or even have the have the description separate, where it says, you know, a laser comes from your palm, and then bullet points or something, right? Like a very obvious separation between flavor and function. So if I'm just like, I'm so tired of reading words right now, I just want to know what this does, I just go straight to the bullet points and just ignore the top. And maybe I'll read it later eventually, right? But yeah. when you're coming to this, especially part of it could be because of debug room, right? Like coming in a little later, but there is a bit like when I'm reading everything and all this new stuff, I'm just like, oh, yeah, I'm tired of reading all this. The chunks, so. the, the ammo chunks or scrap chunks do present the problem because I think the first half is just, it is just describing the function, and the second half is a warning about the ammo cap again, which, you know, maybe I don't need to put that there, but I try to just always constantly warn people. Just be like, hey, don't be stupid. Don't use this when you're already at max ammo. Hello. Cause, uh, I guess... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Because, yeah, the, the importance of the chunks is that it gives you a way to bank your ammo. Oh, I see. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. I did. I did read that part. The, yeah, I don't use the max, but I guess in my head I was like, "There's enough in the world, so I'll just still play that <laughs> as the as my barometer, right? Keep yeah. keep my ammo based on how I get in the world, and then not even think about having the trunks, but knowing I do." Yeah, it's one so. of those things where it's definitely not something I really want to tutorialize. It's like, you know, you, you it's up to you to be smart about your ammo management, I guess. Um, and the thing is, that through the course of the game, you'll get a lot of ammo chunks just from the world. And maybe at some point someone will use it and be like, oh, that gave me bullets. And maybe they'll think, oh, I can buy these from the vendor. And maybe they'll make the connection of, wait, I don't have a limit on how many chunks I can carry. So that's how you can kind of realize I've it. Yeah, how you can, <laughs> how you can work around the uh, limitations. Um, sure. And... Uh, but yeah, I guess the main thing, I, the other thing is that they're very unattractive because they cost a lot. They cost, you know, it's like 20 bullets to restore 10. So I assume people are pretty like, ugh. So I kind of thought about reducing that cost maybe. Obviously it has to be more than the uh, ammo it gives for it to make sense because I want to, you know, I don't want to just give people infinite banking. Yeah. Uh, cause the whole point is that it should be enforcing this limit. But you know, here's this here's this little workaround, so it's not so brutal. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, yeah, I think it's a it's a it's a pro gamer pro gamer strat that I'm not really like necessarily thinking everyone should be super on top of. It does it does make a weird thing because if you don't use a bullet build, then you do get a lot of error messages you're like, ah, you're at the max bullets, you're at the max bullets. So I'm like, oh yeah, I'm kind of like, uh, I don't know that I can give the I can give them much more to spend money on other than, you know, this stuff that's like infinitely sure. reliable. Yeah. Yeah, that's a fair point. I'm trying to think. But I think the chemicals thing might be good because that feels more like that feels more like a potion that you can use, right? So I think that'll be kind of cool. I'm not sure yeah. if people will fully 
fully be like programmer, pro gamer, programmer, <laughs> pro gamer yeah. about fucking being like, ah, geez, I have fully max out bullets. I'll just buy one medium chunk and then just live with it. Yeah, I think there's a chance of that, but I think the majority, you know, as as society is, majority of people are just the middle. You know, there you have the extremes on each side, like the total bunglers, like I can't figure out this game, and then they have the people who are like pro gamer move. I think majority of people just whatever they're just going to have ammo and then buy some chunks and then just sit on it right they're not going to think about the whole like <laughs> min maxing and all that stuff i think the majority of people just won't care they're just going to play normally and shoot guns shoot guns and yeah. use bullets sometimes you know yeah. so maybe they'll be like oh, i'm being warned about my bullets i'll spend my bullets now and then they'll go back to not using <laughs> gun <laughs> yeah exactly so which you know uh, i mean i guess the thing is at some point i'll have you know, bigger ticket items that they can buy and that'll zero them out and then yeah. you can build up again. So I don't know. I don't know. I, I think the main thing I still want to do is I still want to do that uh, chemical item and that'll help a little bit. Hopefully. Sure. So people are like, oh, I can run out of chemicals, but it won't be the end. I can, because that's the big thing with chemicals is you don't want to, there's that worry that you'll run out for like the big boss. And you're like, oh shit. Yeah. But if you have a little thingy, then maybe I'll be like, oh, I can get them back. Yeah, maybe. You gotta, you gotta have to survey out and find out. Yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, so gameplay, yeah, maybe I can't think of But overall, yeah, I mean, it, for, for a turn-based RPG, JRPG, I'm, I did think it was fairly fun. Like I said, I, I mostly treated it as like each encounter was a uh, mini puzzle game. Yeah. Um, which is does keep it, you know, a little less repetitive. And uh Yeah, so sure. We'll give it whatever. Score. Whatever. Um here I'll, let's let's I'll, I'll give you some numbers. I'll give you numbers. Numbers. Uh here, I'll give you five. Yeah. Yeah, All right. five. Narrative. Uh I understand you're getting the world building going. You got some slang. <laughs> you got other robots. Um, honestly, can't really say my opinion has changed much. It's just, it is. It's a story. It's a world of things. Yeah. Audio. Uh, man. Some of the music I, I kind of liked. I know it's it's like sound. You bought some. What is it? You you got some SoundCloud guy or something or Bandcamp no, guy? No, this no? was a uh, one of the asset packs for RPG Maker. Oh, okay. I just picked out a couple things that was I haven't heard, so I was like, I don't know if these have been used. I think part of yeah. the, part of why they're so uh, not unused is I think that they don't fit the usual genres of. You know, they're obviously not for fantasy games, or at least they don't feel very fantasy. They feel more sci fi. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't think, uh, I think a lot of people, like we just played that uh, Starshift Rebellion, and that was a little more techno. And I, you know, I wanted songs with a little more melody and a little more like actual song structure or music structure. Sure. So. Inch, 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 yeah, inch. Less, less focus on the beat, more focus on the emotional and like. You know, wistful feelings, sad melancholy, stuff like that. Sure. So, no techno for me. Yeah. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All I am, right. I am glad. I do feel like I've gotten a few people who are, like, pretty happy about the music. So I'm like, well, at least that means... I guess that means I have good enough taste that I can just shop for more music. If I don't have to fucking break my brain trying to make trying to get back into music writing and do it myself if i don't have to <laughs> yeah, yeah no that that's a big undertaking i mean if you do like some songs if you're trying to do like the whole soundtrack is a huge undertaking yeah it's definitely that's definitely a gigantic scope increase to do that especially since i don't even sure. have software right now that i know yeah I do i'd have to learn a new software probably which is not good yeah, if you were like actively making music right now, then that'd be different. But like to get to get off your ass and get back to it yeah, after it's... while also making the game, it's uh... yeah, it's been like twenty years since I've written anything, so uh, <laughs> it's not not great, not not real, 
not real in the know anymore. Yeah. And on top of that, I was never super happy with the things I wrote. So I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to go back to it and then be frustrated and be like, no, this sucks. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. And then you're like, ah, go buy a game or go buy music. Yeah, buy music. Just buy music. I wasted 100 hours trying to write a song and it sucks. <laughs> yeah. And the game is delayed. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I'll say it's fine. Four. Give you. Uh, yeah, I mean, just you know, it's just average, little, but little. Yeah, it's just whatever. I, I can't think of much else to say. It's it's I at least it's not RTP. Yeah, it's not RTP. Uh, visuals. So I know the style you picked. I don't like it that much, but I don't hate it either. I just think it's kind of okay. Uh, it's not RG whatever RTP also. Uh, it does have you know some of the like low poly models, but that's kind of f I mean that's expected. It's like <laughs> I know it's not models. You know what I mean? It's like the art assets look like the like like reboot the cartoon <laughs> the three D cartoon. You know what I mean? Yeah, low it's textures. like that. Yeah, there you go. That's the word. Um, which is you know not not horrible, but it's not nothing. You know, it's not great either. So. But I get, I get it's an indie project, but I'm still, you know, marking it based on, uh, against the industry as this is. So, yeah. it's go like four. It's, it's lower this time. Oh, my opinion has slightly changed. <laughs> uh, mapping. Sorry, you're saying what? You're saying it's not. Yeah, it's not like I custom made art or anything. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. Mapping, Let's see, I did overall like it. Uh, it definitely is gamey game, which is not the worst thing. Which is like go to the end of the hall to get the item. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's like the thing behind the bosses is always the thing you want. Yeah, I definitely had some. Uh, my thought process was very just basic video game. It does the yeah. things that a video game does. But in terms of you know, this is a bit of both. Like the art was cool. I mean, I do like. Um, the car graveyard was pretty cool. Thinking about it as like a checkpoint was pretty cool. And then the homely cave. I know you're fighting dudes, but I don't know. It looked homely. Like I'd, I'd live there in a post-apocalyptic environment. <laughs> I live in, I'd live in that cave. There was like nice beds and stuff. So I'll give a uh, 4.5. I know a little lower, but whatever. I'm a little more harsh today. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. Technical. Uh, there are quite a few little nagging bugs. Um, we went over a lot of them. I mean, we went over like all of them, and they were all pretty minor. But they did kind of like there were quite a few of them. I know a lot of them. You said you're going to work on potentially fixing and stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of them aren't so much bugs, just polish. I'd say. Yeah, it's fair. I mean, so, yeah, some of it. Yeah, it was like things that tended to be there or whatever. Uh, let's see. In terms of. Functionality though, let's see animations, cutscenes, funny. They fixed the frame rate bug, haha. <laughs> you did. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean four. A ah. little below average. We gotta, we gotta get that polish up. <laughs> uh, value. This is gonna be the same, I assume. Let's see what you have. Five. You're you're getting ten dollars for this game. Yeah. Actually, no. I'll be nice here. I was, the combat has impressed me a bit, and okay, I should ask you the scope of this game, the demo. How much do you think percentage-wise of the total game this this one demo was? Not not like the previous demo included. Uh, oh, not the previous demo included. Yeah, because I don't remember the length of it that well. Oh, okay. The mat, uh, let me do math. So just here. for better. I mean, this is like roughly is fine. This is like one whole zone. Oh, let me open up my map thing that I have. I kind of yeah, it's like say, is it like one fifth or like one thirtieth? You know what I mean? I kind of want to say one tenth. That's I think that's what my head is at. Okay. That might be overscoping, but I want to say one tenth. Uh, there might be actually. Well, I'm, I'm thinking in terms of scope, it might be more work than one tenth, but because uh, there's a lot of shit in the background and quests design and shit that I have to do that I haven't really done. There's not a lot of quests in this one, obviously, other than uh, you got. A quest from Habamo that was like, "Hey, maybe this will be a thing later on," and nothing else happens because that is something <laughs> I plan for later in the game. <laughs> so sure. that's you know real easy right now. But obviously, that quest I have planned will be a bit of work. Um, 
not randomly cut content. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and that quest is called Automatic Messiah, so I guess I have to <gasps> deliver bum, on bum, it. Bum. It's not the main quest, but it's I don't know, maybe it's one of those things where it's like, that's the name of the thing. Oh my god. <laughs> you said the title. I've been watching us cinema sins a lot. You know, oh, it says yeah. roll credits, whatever they say <laughs> the title. Roll credits. Yeah. So yeah, I think one tenth is probably probably reasonable. I think that's reasonable, uh, to say that. Um, I might lower the scope here and there, but as far as I know, there's like nine other zones at least, so one tenth, at most one twentieth. But I, I probably can't do that. That's probably unreasonable for me to. But we'll say one fifteenth. <laughs> Split it in the middle. Yeah. Um, I see your selection box. All right. Oh, whoops. I guess I clicked on that screen. <laughs> That's fine. All right. So. Yeah, thinking back on it, some of the art assets. I re I respect that you're. I, I'm going back to visual a bit, but I was thinking about this. Yeah, I'm like some of the the characters. Yeah, they just. But I understand the scope again. But it's like, some of it definitely looks a bit a little bit funky. One thing, and this this is you know, if you don't want to change it, what is I brought? I'm gonna bring it up. Just but like, your background in the combat is like a screen, and then. The characters are placed kind of haphazardly around, and I get it. It's kind of like an abstract where you're kind of in the environment, and then there's the enemies. But it did look kind of funny because it sometimes looked like people were standing on other people's heads, or you know, like some guy would appear and it, like where he stands on the background is like in the back, but he's the same size as the people next to him. Or the tower, for example, right? The tower perspective is all kind of funny. Yeah, so. the tower perspective is a real. Real head scratcher. Um, yeah. <laughs> so he he himself is actually a smaller. I scaled him down a little bit. Um, but yeah. Yeah. How to actually pull that off to make it make sense visually? I don't know. It's kind of like, kind of gonna be jank. I don't know. Without indeed proper three D like, placing. There is a big problem with RPG Maker and uh, placing characters because it's constrained to the like original fucking default. Um, screen size so mm -hmm. people are kind of jam-packed together um, gotcha I did have this thought of not wanting to uh, have people above other people but obviously in certain areas I ran out of space even though the screen is fucking massive I ran out of space because that's how RPG Maker works sure. and even though I do have a plugin that allows me to modify and go beyond the default space it doesn't work with like reinforcements that's where the problem came in so oh uh, okay so Makes i definitely sense. had some screens that are very fucking crammed especially since you know i had to make sure there's room for when the scan thing pops up uh so maybe there's maybe there's something i can solve about that but in terms of it being like you know just flat and like people are just kind of like they're kind of in a 3d world with the backgrounds but like i've kind of placed them i mean that's just the way that I, JPG, yeah, yeah, JPGs yeah. These are they're just there. <laughs> that is true. It's not really depth uh, of field or de de depth. I see what you mean. I will say though, I mean, maybe I misremember the backgrounds. In JRPG, even though I know what you're talking about, they do the flat picture and stuff in the back. I feel they're they're they usually divide the ground and the background like pretty artistically like strict. You know what I mean? So when the people are standing around, even though the ground you're looking at it on like a 2D view, all the characters do stand seem to stand, you know, on the ground part of the background. And the ground part is like three fourths of the background. And the you know, the, the one fourth has like the sky that nothing stands on, you know what I mean? And oh. I felt with your backgrounds, it felt like the whole background was just ground. And yeah. then people could kind of stand wherever, you know. That is true. So. The, the default RPG Maker stuff is actually it is actually split like you're describing, where there's a ground and then there's a sky. Yeah. Um, but uh, I had these backgrounds as all one piece, so <laughs> I did. Yeah, I did that. Um, For sure. I mean, it's, it's not it's not a huge deal, but it's just not, you know that the dissecting what what I thought was weird about it. Yeah. Um, it's up to you. Obviously, you want to do anything about it, but I'm not even. I've also actually been fighting with the idea of removing the background and like it does this thing where they just pop up and there's just uh you know the map that you're on just is in the background but blurred 
Yes. That, that is a feature you can do. I don't know. I, I personally thought it looked a little weird, so that's why I've been using backgrounds, but I don't know. In, I, ter- in terms of just being yeah. an abstract gamey game, it kind of makes more sense. Or It's easier, because obviously I don't have to have backgrounds. Yeah. But, um, but I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how other people feel about it. I just kind of felt like it looks weird. <laughs> sure. And and yeah, and, and I think yeah, doing the whole blurring the 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 overview map probably isn't yeah, I, I do like what's in more than that. Oh, okay. Because blurring their overview map, yeah, it's like you're tiny mans and then now you're like big people. But <laughs> yeah. then the background's the same, yeah, it makes no so yeah. But you know, I still stand by what I said about that three fourths thingy. Um so uh again, minor issue, but that that's how that that's why I was like, why does this look so weird in my head? And that's what it was. So, hmm. um, yeah. Anyway, yeah. So value. Whoa. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll give you a higher score. Oh wow! Than last time. Um, because now it feels like it feels more like a game, right? Yeah, so. yeah. There's I was uh more impressed by Yeah, how the game kind of felt overall. And uh Yeah. I could see this being a ten dollar game now, so Yeah. Money. Which I guess the value should be a little bit higher. You know, I'll give you a five. Hooray. Yeah, so uh, I did. His gameplay of, was yeah interesting. What's I did, up? I did kind of think about that with the first part because obviously it's like the actual intro of the game, so it's kind of funny. Here's a bunch of tutorials, and then it's like, okay, the demo's over. <laughs> you know, yeah, 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 you got a gun. Aren't guns cool? Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Um, <laughs> See now ya. it's like I'm like, oh, you have all these guns. You have a vendor. You have crafting. You have more more attribute points to spend, so you can actually make a build instead of just like one point that you get the end of the first demo yeah uh, so for sure it's opening up and you don't have to squint your eyes i think that's the expression i heard is with early prototypes you have to squint your eyes to see the game because it's so it's so garbage when it's a prototype or an early development uh you're having to squint your eyes less now to actually get an idea of it. oh because i mean that's kind of what we do with these early impressions right with our reviews where it's like we play the opening and we're just like I try to make that comment of like I'm not really sure I see like how this is gonna evolve into more of a game. Yeah. And so I kind of felt that I probably had that problem a bit with the first part, but now hopefully it's with this part you can see how it's supposed to evolve. Yeah, and you know, yeah, for sure. And you know, with the the combat, just yeah, being fairly involved and and I could definitely see myself. You know, being like, oh, this is kind of fun and wanting to finish it because wanting to get stronger, wanting to figure out uh, not having to hold space bar for all the fights. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's a big, you know, it's it's funny, but it's, yeah, it's, it's like so tongue in cheek because it was funny, dude, I was talking with one of my guild mates and they were like, we're talking about JRPGs and they're like, I'm thinking about trying Octopath Traveler. And in my head, Octopath Traveler 2, and in my head, I was like, do I recommend our podcast? Because <laughs> <laughs> I told him, I was like, this is a very average game. That was like the best thing I could say about it. I was like, it's just very, very average. So I was thinking about that. But it does help, yeah. When And this, I will say, one thing I could potentially see is maybe eventually kind of being like, okay, I think I kind of figured out the formula. I'm a little bored now. Um... Uh, like, like it gets repetitive in that way you know what i mean yeah. maybe uh, yeah there are certain things i've kind of thought of to like shake it up a little bit um, yeah um so the main thing i guess this is a big spoiler but i figure this will probably have to be on the store page uh just because of screenshots and i don't know it probably has to but when you hit level 10 because that's the max level um the plan is that you unlock the fourth party member and the fourth party member can also Ooh. do damage, just like the chassis. So, oh, that, okay. So that like kind of, I'm I'm predicting that should be a pretty sufficient like, like oh now I have all this shit that I can do, and you yeah, know, which one it gives to you is which party member you get 
or party member in quotes, I should say, because it's another body part. Um, which one you get is based on your uh, what you've done in terms of morality. So if you've been violent, you get a shoulder cannon like Predator. Um, oh no, spoilers! <laughs> <laughs> if you've been non-lethal, there's a I called it a transmission dish, which just like does like. Uh, I mean, it's it's a non-lethal obey, cannon, obey. <laughs> well, that's the third, oh, okay. that's the third thing for diplomacy. You have a telepathy thing that like helps you soothe people <laughs> to make diplomacy work on them better. Oh, so, okay. Or at least that's the idea. So you know, there's stuff like that to shake it up, and um, yeah, just attention, just lots yeah. of items, and you unlock new uh, programs and stuff. Um, wacky wacky exotic weapons uh, that's kind of one of the things that was a little bit like maybe i should change this about but i don't know what to do about it is the two exotic weapons that are in this one the uh the brass knuckles and the s1 errand they're not super weird so they're not like as exciting as the other ones that i have planned later on will be yeah so that's another thing that's kind of like what's this weird weapon that you use briefly like a chainsaw <laughs> Yeah. And it has like a unique animation, it has like unique mechanics for how it works. Hmm. So, Interesting. So yeah. So yeah, there's there's uh you know, obviously meeting new locations, new people and stuff. Hopefully at yeah. some point at some point the story needs to come online because so far it's still just a lot of even this is still pretty uh building, just building stuff and not actually paying off anything. Yeah. So you know, eventually the building becomes actual interesting tidbits. You meet the meathead philosopher. <laughs> you argue philosophy with him. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, but yeah, like, I talked to them and then threw a grenade at them. <laughs> <laughs> Am I not diplomatic? Yeah, that's something I want him to be like. It's like, but if I defeat him in combat, then am I not correct? In, did I not win the debate? <laughs> <laughs> Lol. And, you know, me with, with stories, man, sometimes I'm just like, eh, you know, I don't, I'm not a huge story person in general. So some of it I may just start, you know, if I were playing on my own, I may, would get like, I would skim a lot of it and maybe catch certain points I liked and then explore those parts and the rest of it I kind of just skip through and be like, whatever, just get me to the combat so I can diplomatic people with grenades, <laughs> you know, like that might be where I, where I go with it, so. And I think but. that's still, I think that's still pretty good because, you know, the, the combat ties into the story of like, you know, that because it feeds what ending you can get, what you could possibly sure. get. So that'll kind of lead where things are going in the story. And I think for someone who's mostly interested in combat, it is just nice to see like, oh, it's paying off that I'm doing it this way. That's true. That might actually make me care a little bit more because, you know, I always tell people when I'm like, I don't really care about video game. I don't care about story that much anymore, like video games and stuff. People go, oh, you just haven't, you know, they're, they're either like, oh, should I like, maybe if they're thinking, if they're if they're talking about their story, they're, they may be like, oh, you know, should I make it, like, should I write it better or, or I'm critiquing, you know, a popular game and, you know, maybe they're like, oh, maybe, you know, it wasn't presented well. And I'm like, no. You know, and I'm like, no, it's, it's, I don't think it's, it's any of their fault. <laughs> I think I just don't, <laughs> you know what I mean? I think it's me. Like, I just got to that point where I just don't really care about, and as I don't want to say, I compl don't completely, like, you know, certain games, I'll, I'll care a little bit more Resident Evil. I'll watch every cutscene and read some of the stuff. But of most games, I'm just, you know, not saying I don't care about the art assets at all because I still, you know, look at the game in a visual medium, but. You know, for the most part, I just I know for me, I'm just like, man, I just I just start skipping dialogue where I, I skim fast and I'm just like, I just don't care. And it's definitely, you know, because there'll be games that are maybe considered very good or in terms of story or like everyone really liked or critically the story is very good. And I'm just like, yeah, just give me the shooting part, you know, and, and I, <laughs> I realize it's, it's just kind of how I am. Like, I, you know, I whatever, I'm ADD, whatever. I don't want to say that's because a lot of people claim they have ADD, but it's more so I just like gameplay, you know? I was like, I don't even watch shows anymore. Like, very rarely do I watch, like, fiction stuff anymore. You know what I mean? So for me, yeah, I, I just got to that point where I, I don't really watch fiction anymore, and, and I, I just, 
lose interest, but I, I'll play games all day, you know, and it's, and when, even when I replay games, I'll replay old games and I'll just skip the story, but I want to play the mechanics. So I'm just very, I just, that's what I like about, you know, video games, playing the yeah. mechanics. So, so yeah. with story, sometimes it's like, it's not the story's fault. I just don't care. I wouldn't, I wouldn't care no matter how good the story is. I don't, it's a waste of time. I just want, I love like shooting mechanics. Give me the shooting <laughs> mechanics. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. And the extra little thing that I've done is, you know, each, each of the mechanics, each of the methods plays a little differently. Obviously, diplomacy is the most different from the other two. Um, but yeah, lethal is, lethal is more like just straight damage, and then non-lethal is like more crowd control, but a little less damage. So hopefully, you know, if people want to play through, whether they want to see the story or not, it still should play at least a little bit differently and feel a bit different. Yeah, for sure. Uh, okay. What was my previous impression? C minus. Give you a, a C plus. Wow. And then you get an SS plus. <laughs> <laughs> I somehow. Here, went, here, no, here. Only one plus. You get added one plus. Okay. Somehow. More reasonable. Um, price, yeah, this. 9 dollars same. Whatever. Yeah, suggested price. Let's see. I still think five bucks. I don't. I can't decide right now. It's too question mark. <laughs> <laughs> Play time. I played with quite a bit. It's probably two plus hours. Yeah, probably two hours. Put around two hours. I think. Okay. That's the nice thing that about this. Uh, at least on tactical, I kind of found a nice uh, combat system. It takes a good bit of time. So, you know, I always talk about lowering your scope of your game, but. I mean, I thought, I'm not throwing like a huge amount of fights at people. I, ha I did have a pretty good amount in this one. I had more than the previous zones, but you know, it's not like a typical RPG maker game where it's just like, oh, we'll just grind bats for an hour, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, just throwing like five fights at the player in like a zone, or I guess that last zone had that was a lot. I think, more, it was, I, think? I think it was like seven. You skipped the boss fight too because you did the uh, diplomacy check. Um, oh, that's right. So there is that. So oh, actually, yeah. There's like ten fights. There's so there are ten fights in that zone, uh, and then the cave I think has seven. So you know, seventeen fights is a lot for this game for the pace of it. I think, but you know, it's not like I shoved like fucking thirty or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And tactical death, yeah, slows it down a bit, but right, you know, intentionally. Yeah, and you could run past people so. if you really need to. So there's that. Especially if you're playing on an easier to oh, that's or easier true. to run by. Um, but I wanted the XP. The XP and the combat data. Oh boy. Yeah. And the sometimes combat... materials. The combat data. Okay. Now this is embarrassing. But what exactly was. Is it those plans you get or is it like a currency? It's basically a material that you spend. At the fabricator to build the programs. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. So that's partially right. So yeah, the programs are pretty important. I think. I think. I hope that you feel that way and that they're pretty cool. That they. Are, yeah. Maybe, not, maybe I shouldn't say cool. Just powerful and change your <laughs> build in important ways. Uh, yes. The armor reduction, the armor damage reduction, probably helps. And then yeah, those some things. Yeah, I thought they were all interesting. I think. Especially in tactical, where you know the action economy is really important, it probably does help to have uh, you know every little bit helps. I mean, there was one I dropped to super low health that if I didn't have the ten percent, I probably would have died. And you know, all you need is one extra turn to get a heal off, and then it's like you're you're Gucci, you know. Yeah, I so. definitely cut the math pretty close for tactical. So ten percent sounds like very little, I'm sure to people, but like you know, it, it'll make the difference between if you can survive. A round of combat or not so yeah for that, sure therefore it's important um but yeah the combat the programs doing cool shit like a bunch of crit or you get two deadly strikes or stuff like that or your yeah. barbs of light becomes blades of light blades of light so now you can murder people that was i guess that takes up a lot of my design is making sure people have ways to switch between uh lethal and non-lethal Cause... Yeah, that I honestly wasn't even. I mean, you know, my my whole run was a mix of uh, 
<laughs> mix of everything. Lethal yeah. and non-lethal, yeah. But that's how I probably how I play because in my head I'm trying to how I'd look at it, especially for first playthrough, is I would just do what I feel is the most efficient, and then whatever ending I get is whatever ending I get. You know what I mean? And then maybe in subsequent playthroughs I tried something else, but yeah, you know, that's you know I did those decisions because they were the best way to kill things. As fast, you know, <laughs> as with like the highest chance of success of winning the fight. So yeah, murder is always a solution. It's a good. It's efficiency. It can work. <laughs> Unfortunately, it is the ultimate. Uh, the ultimate diplomacy is <laughs> if your opponent can't talk back, <laughs> <laughs> you have won the debate. So, yeah. All right. I think that's. Oh, technically, this is three nine. Oh yeah. All right. I can't think of a call here. Let's do. No uh, here. <laughs> Biden, no, what is it? Obama giving Biden the <laughs> There we go. It don't make sense in the thumbnail, guys, trust. Hooray. So. <laughs> All right. Sweet. All right. Uh, I think we're good, yeah. All right, if you're good, then that's you're the, you're in control now, so I guess you decide. Uh, yes. I think we're good. All right, then. I guess we'll see every. We'll see you guys later. Yeah. See ya.